It won't last, look. Because I already did my 10,000 steps today. Told ya, told ya, told ya so. Screw you, Sam. I'm going home. And although my mind tells me that she's a messy tacky bitch. Today's segment is pretty much talking about pick a struggle. Yo, pick a struggle. Got to pick a struggle. Got to pick a struggle, bruh. You need to pick a damn struggle. You have three. Then that's it. It is over for you. You have to pick a struggle. Right. What's going on, y'all? Hey, y'all. Welcome Ooh, back. Doo, 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 ah! Now he want to get out and play. Sam said, hey, y'all. Right. <laughs> Oh my goodness, child. Yeah, I'm still I'm not hungover, but I'm just mellow today. You definitely hungover. No, I'm not. You look hungover. Is I, that what that is? I ain't never seen you look like this. <laughs> ever in my life. If I seen you look like you do that tired. Right, but I got up this morning. I still got up this morning, but just laid there. Until what time? Maybe around noon. What time you lay down? I don't know. What time you get home? I don't know. What time you leave? When I left, it was 4 p.m. Yeah. And you don't know what time you got home? No. I just remember it being dark. You know what? I'm proud of you. <laughs> I'm going to say that I'm proud of you because for the longest time, you weren't going nowhere. No. You weren't doing nothing. You were sitting in the towel. Drinking and having a good time by yourself. I like to hear about well, you getting social. You but know. we had uh, we had went out earlier that day. Uh -huh. when, uh, Shanita, uh, this past week was her birthday. Okay. Uh, so I took her to uh, to this Indian restaurant that mm. I used to always go to. Okay. Well, no, I ain't never. No, this okay. This is the funny part. So when I the last job I had working at UT Southwest and. Uh, there was this vegan Indian restaurant that would come in and serve food along with us. Uh -huh. And so I would always eat the food, and the food was always good. Okay, okay. Like, there were no Mexicans. <laughs> like, it was it's the, the right people. The real, cooking. yeah. <laughs> the original people cooking the food. I understand. Right. And so, and then they would come with like their whole get up and everything. Uh -huh. And uh, the foods, I'm saying, so I realized they had a restaurant in Dallas uh -huh. off, of, uh, off of 30. Okay. And so the name there, Kalahanjis. I think that's how you pronounce it. Let's go ahead and just put that in the. <laughs> <laughs> Type it in there. We but know, it was good probably, though. That's good. What you? Well, I don't even ask you what you got. Yeah, I wouldn't even know what to what to to think about when you tell me what you got. I know I had uh, a lot of curry. No, no, they didn't have curry that day. Oh. No, wait. I think one thing I did. I think <laughs> it, was, it was fried cauliflower. Oh, that's good. Which was good. It was the sauce that made it good. I had some of that at the um, at the botanical gardens. Yeah, it was. I thought it was good. Who didn't think it was good? Shamar thought it was. Good. Where, 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 is, where is this at? <laughs> the botanical gardens when we went. And we, where the fried cow. But where are we at? The what? Dallas. Uh, uh, oh, I didn't know. What you got there? I don't know. Oh, just. <laughs> My bad. I, I, didn't know, I, don't, I didn't know because I didn't know where Botanical Garden was. Yeah, I always right. thought it was worldwide. Oh, okay. World yeah, world so yeah, it was worldwide. So we gotta be. You gotta let the everybody Dallas, know where we are. And um, yeah, I thought it was. It was just a little sample, but for me, it was. I, yeah. I was enough. I could. I, I could eat right. a lot of it. It was. Good. And then we. Then they had like some red beans. Mm. Had a. Uh, they do red beans too. Yeah. They got a little soul like that. <laughs> can you let him out the cage so he can stop barking? The dog is out here going <laughs> right. crazy. Yeah. yeah, he's like, oh, somebody else is here. What's his name? <laughs> Sam. Sam is out here. And Sam I am. <laughs> Three <laughs> necks and head. <laughs> so keep going. Did you open it? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're not coming out. He'll, yeah. pro he'll probably Jay come said, out when you're ready. Jay said, why you open it? Right, she be so unbothered with him sometimes. I know, I can tell. He a baby, and she grown. She yeah. ain't got time for him. She old. She said, "Look, I'm trying to sit down somewhere. Get, get rubbed on." But uh, what else? They had brown rice, which I didn't get that. I got basmati rice. Mm. 
That sounded like it would be good. It was. Yeah. All of it was good. We had some, it was some other shit, but I can't remember the name of it. You said it's called Basmati? Basmati. Basmati. B-A-S-M-A-T-I. Yeah, which is so funny. My sister, my sister, she was like, how do you say that? I told you. Doing it, so when a woman asks, she buzzes them back right. <laughs> like, girl, really? Right. Then what, what was so funny was I forgot to mention that it's also a temple. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So my sister had on like a mini skirt. So they, yeah. titties was out. Mm. Did they give her a cover? Of no, uh-uh. no, they didn't. No, they just was like, right. She was just like, she was like, I don't want to get out the car. I was like, girl, you ain't got no choice. We done rode all the fuck way over here. Right. <laughs> you get your butt right out. from Fort Worth. We is not about to turn around. Right. And so we got out. We had Anara with us, mm-hmm. and she was cool. Mm-hmm. Then uh, we got to eat outside. Outside has like this big ass tree mm-hmm. in the middle of it. Okay. So like a nice little place. It was. It was nice. Was it packed? No, not really. The, the place ain't that big anyway. Right. But uh, people come in, they only open for like a couple of hours. Mm-hmm. They open um, like 11 or 11.30 noonish mm-hmm. for a couple of hours and then they close down, I like, guess, to recook everything or to cook more. Right. Then they for open like, back up okay. for dinner at five. Okay. And you said it's a vegan place? Yes. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a Call the Then Then miss. Shout them out. I did. I just did. I just did. I just did. It was all on my Facebook page. But Misty, Misty's back. Yeah. What she do? No, she just don't like vegetables like that. And y'all gonna take her to a vegan spot? Yeah. So what happened? She was just sitting there, and the plate was still full. And I'm just like, girl, is you gonna eat? She eat the rice or nothing? She ate it. I think that was the only thing that she completely ate. Really, the rice. The rice. Yeah. Y'all should have just slid a piece of chicken in her pocket from Popeye's or something on the way up there. Girl, anybody from the wall there. <laughs> no. Did she know it's a vegan spot before? Yeah. Her? Did she still want to go? Yeah, she still wanted to go. Mm-hmm. So that's on her then. Right. You better eat the bread and, and have a good time. Ooh, that was another thing. It was the it was the bread. Uh they got this uh cinnamon raisin bread. Okay. Cinnamon raisin bread. Ooh. It was so good. That'll bring me back to my childhood. I love raisin bread. And they the bread got like a little swirl in it, so it looks yeah. like the um what the fuck? What's that cake called? Mm-hmm. Or the bread, like rye bread. Rye bread. Uh, uh, pepper Farms. Yeah. Pepper Farms. Is it soccer pepper cake? No. Marble uh, Marble cake. Marble cake. Well, marble, but it's another cake that has. Obviously, I know. Yeah. Rye, but, yeah. but that's what it looked like. Okay. But you didn't eat, you didn't eat raisin bread? Uh, raisin bread when you was little? I didn't like raisin bread when I was Me little. Either. What? And then, we, and then we, we, we never. My mama never bought it anyway. Ooh, yeah. My mama did because she was old. My mama was an old lady. She bought it stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And and, and uh, what else? Bread pudding and stuff. We all see. Yeah. No way. Rice pudding. Like, it's the rice yeah. pudding I don't like. You like rice pudding? Uh, no, I don't. I don't My like mama. sweet rice. And then mm. it was hard because I grew up in. You're from Arkansas. I, that's what I was about to say. Where people put sugar you on their rice. Eat sweet. I'm going to salt on my rice. It'd be your own co-host. It'd be your own co-host. <laughs> Are you serious? I don't eat sweet No. That's the only way we ate it if it wasn't no meat Dre, involved in it. It is so ate. disgusting. You need you need a little thing, Dre? Dre, you would be like, did you, did you, Dre? You know? In between your own. Right. You feel like you want to do keep on. Yeah, I had a cousin who put salt and sugar on their rice. Okay. Oh, sweet so rice is sweet. disgusting. Sweet rice is the the smack. No. Oh my goodness. Is he like that with seven now? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Well, he is now. No. You know, at first he would. Don't. Sh- at first he would. <laughs> <laughs> and then he walked up on me, dog. Like he wanted to smoke some weed. She, she's like, what y'all doing? She'll drink. She'll drink. Child, one time she got drunk. It was so funny. What you give her? I didn't give her anything. I put my cup on the floor. Oh, that was she did. And she drunk out of it. That was she did. And she tried to get up, and she was trying to run. <laughs> she wasn't going no damn well. Yeah, imagine this, everybody. Look at this. But it was a drunk dog. Did you take a video of it? No, because oh bitch, I was drunk. I was, <laughs> oh, I was ah. sitting there looking at her. And she was really running, but wasn't going nowhere. <laughs> and then she fell. I was like, okay, yeah. Look at this. That's she, how she feel when your ass be right. drunk. So she yes. good. Right. And that's what, yeah. Crazy. When I be drunk and be doing my, uh, be having a concert, yeah. she, she just be like, mm-hmm. look at this shit, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like again? <laughs> we had it one, we had it again. Did this shit yesterday. 
So did we change something of the, of the decor? Because I look like it looks like something's different. Like no, uh, I took this the stuff that was up here. I took it down. Okay. Because I was drunk and cleaning up. Okay. No, I wasn't. I hate that I did no. this stuff that I shouldn't be. Honest. I was high. I had an edible, Ooh. and I was cleaning up. You got some more of the edibles? No. This was a while ago. Oh. It wasn't like that last week for last. Yes, it was. Okay, it'd be me. Since <laughs> it's been there for a minute. Anyway, damn. What happened? Oh, and then, then after the restaurant came home, and I went to Cider Cave. You ever been there? Mm-hmm. No, what is that? It's a place that's like uh, alcohol and cider oh, mixed together. Okay. And it's an arcade. Oh, where all the games are free. Is that in Arlington? In Dallas. I feel like I've seen an ad for it on Facebook, but I can't remember. Yeah, but that was fun. Went there, chap. It was this dude that had fell out. Drunk. I guess so, but the drinks don't even be that strong. So I'm just like, what was you doing? If you stacking them on top of each other, <laughs> they don't be strong. No, I had about four of them, and I still. Maybe he don't have a good tolerance. You know, some people uh-huh. just, they tolerance ain't there. Right. But anywho, well, it's right. not like you had a good weekend, right? And I'm gonna show you pictures of uh, Misty's trip. Yeah, definitely. Because she went to, for those who don't know, she went to Barcelona and Paris. Paris. Now I did see the Eiffel Tower picture. I yeah, that one. Well, her goofy self. <laughs> Just looking. Right, and I was like, why does it look like? Why is your eyes closed? <laughs> she is a mess. But I told her I was like, girl, take plenty of pictures. Did she did she do that? Yeah, she did. That's but cool. what was funny was because she she sent me like a couple of them. And I was like, girl, I'm gonna need more than that. That's, right. That's both of them Ooh, that? down there playing. Watch them because I don't want them peeing on my floor. What's the one but she had got some of the pictures of the artwork that was burr. That's beautiful. Yeah, let me see. Y'all see that? That's beautiful. Never was able to get there. Right. I was over yonder. Yeah. You know, she ain't got a whole bunch of pictures, a whole bunch of pictures of white people and artwork yeah, and shit. Those nice white folks. Why is you over here? Uh, we uh, over here yeah, doing right. adult things. I don't over there. No, you I already told you. Don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> you put my place back over there. Right. Where else? I had more pictures. You live in effect today. Again, as always, I guess. And what's the name of the show? Pick a Struggle. Let's go. Pick a Struggle. Where else? Oh, she got a picture of the Eiffel Tower at night. It was so nice. Mm, that is beautiful. The Eiffel Tower is a beautiful place. The Eiffel Tower is a beautiful place? It's a place. The Eiffel Tower is... It's a, a place in my head. <laughs> Let me have yeah, my, uh, yeah. let me have that one. Okay. Dang. I don't know why she took a picture of a damn construction site. Cause they getting down over there too. What they missing there? But <laughs> who do they work? Do they, <laughs> who, who does their construction? I don't know. When she gave me some of the pictures, I don't see no ragged road, so it couldn't be Mexican. Oh yeah, that's true. Cause that's all we Cause got. they gonna throw your road up there. It's gonna be done in two days. But right. Next week it's gonna be total. Whole bunch up. of potholes. From regular cars. But she took she took a train. Did she go in the they go in uh I don't think, I think so. We can go yeah, I know you can't I just don't know if she, I don't know if she did. Yeah. But she, hell, she didn't send me no pictures. So like, this did, is what, Jesus. What, what did she say about the, she talked about the flight? Yeah, that's that's the last one. Look, there she go on the train. Did Wait a minute, is that a spider? On the window? Yeah. Did she take a picture? So the picture might have been of the spider. Right. <laughs> they got them over here too, y'all. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> that is too funny. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Well, I'm glad she went and got that experience and got back safe. Right. Some people don't ever leave their block. So for her to get on the plane. This, let me see. Shut up. Let me tell you what happened. <laughs> so before she even went on the trip, mm-hmm. I was give, I was giving her my credit card and I said, do not no. buy any airport food. I remember I was here for that conversation. Yes, you was here. Mm-hmm. The first thing she bought is some fucking Wendy's at the Miami airport. How much you pay? Fifteen dollars. I don't even remember the car the the client. You don't see her on the trip with a, the car that's gonna decline. Yeah. Why? Because the payment ain't posted yet. So mm-hmm. she 
Mm. But she, she went over and did exactly what I told her not to do at dinner. So I had text. We had to use the WhatsApp. You yeah. ever use that? Yeah, I had yeah. to at one point. Wow. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. So that's part of my old life. Let's talk about that right now. Anyway, you had to use WhatsApp. So we, so we used the WhatsApp because uh, she didn't want to pay for the the charges having for her to have to use her phone over there. Uh-huh. And I was so, uh, so I texted her like, didn't I tell you not to buy no damn? She, I'm hungry. I don't care. Right. You better, you better eat, 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 them, eat them, you better eat them plans <laughs> you want to let me have. And they got good food when you're doing international. The food be good. I don't you know. She even say nothing about that. She oh, you know about they, food? No. It be good. When, when I was in Germany, they, of course, we was on Lufthansa. So they served us German food. We was who? What? Lufthansa Airlines. Is, oh. And we, they had German food, but it was good to me. What would you eat? What was the... It was mostly cold cuts and bread and... Bitch, and, uh, sandwiches. But it was good. <laughs> <laughs> the they sandwiches was good. They hit different. I ain't never they had... They love it. different. It's something they do. Oh. I think they over there using their toes. I don't know. It's, it's good. The yeast? Yeah, it's something. They, I don't know where they get it from, but they... From <laughs> Like corned beef, it was like it was like turkey and stuff, but it was um, like the way they shave it and out season. I'm telling you, you think I'm trying to make this up? No, I know, I know, I know what you're telling me, and I believe what you're telling me. Was you like? But I'm not gonna get I'm mad about the cold. Yes, because I'm simple. <laughs> I'm a simple girl. I don't need a lot to razzle dazzle. Okay, it was good. It was good. Okay, <laughs> but um, uh, right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think what else, what else, what else. She said she she did say she enjoyed her her vaca- vacation. She she enjoyed her trip, but uh-huh. she was feeling kind of bad because you know Mama wasn't here. Yeah, yeah. So she felt you know bad about that, but she she was all right though. Yeah. What did you do? Who'd you do? Um, I did what last weekend or this weekend? Yeah, let's talk about why you why we didn't do a show last week. We'll talk about that later. What is later? When we not on love. Okay. Anybody don't need to know my text? You can quick. I text it to you. Okay. It was a lot going on last week, and I'll just say that. There was a lot going on, and I just wasn't in the mental space to be here. Yeah. And I, I'm sorry I missed y'all. I really did, because I wanted to talk about Yeah, move, child. <laughs> I want a man's shoes. But yeah, we'll talk about, we'll, I'll tell y'all next week when I'm clear again. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so what? What was I about to say? It was some. I know it was something else that happened to me. It was a busy week, though. Oh yeah, it's definitely the, the world was busy. Right. The world was always so. Busy, I right? guess. I guess we go ahead. Well, I don't know. I mean, we I'm, t- I'm about, tired of people talking about Will Smith. I'm gonna say we can definitely talk about the elephant in the room right now. Right. The whole Will Smith thing. Chris Rock uh, situation. Did you see? Did you see it? I didn't see it live, but I actually Girl, nobody it. saw it. Saw it live. It it was on it was live on TV. I just I didn't watch the whole. Oscars. No, I always just watched the clips. That's oh, why yeah. I did watch uh, the beginning of the Oscars. I watched um, what was that girl's uh, the white girl? She hosted it. Oh, Amy. I seen her little bit that she did. That was I, hilarious. She was funny. I was she like, was actually funny. I never watched her. Uh, like watched her live, like watched her stand up. Yeah, but uh, but it was fun. Yeah, she did a good thing. She did a good bit for the uh, Oscars. I said that mm. she was running to black people too. So. <laughs> it worked. It worked. But one person I never thought that was funny was Cheryl Underwood. So as a as a host or as a stand-up? as in everything, Cheryl Underwood. Y'all think she's funny? No, I never thought she was funny. I ain't gonna put her in the top category, but she's somewhere. I wouldn't even put her in the bottom. Really? What do you not like about her? Is she just too much? No, it's not that I don't like her. It's just I just never found her funny. Mm-hmm. Okay, I understand that. I understand. I'm like that with Wanda Sykes. What? Don't like that. Stand up at all. I don't know. Maybe it's because I don't relate to her. I don't know what it is. I just don't. I can't. You don't like her. lesbians? I didn't say that. Stop. See how you put words in my mouth? You already know who I grew up. Stop playing with me. Push your pig. Stop. Push your pig. Stop. Push your pig. You already know how I grew up. Push your pig. 
Yeah. May, that may be why. I don't know. Yeah, it might yeah. have something to do with it. But no, she do got like rich white woman humor. Who? Guana Wanda. That's but sometimes it's funny. Yeah, it'd it'd be funny to well, me. I do like her show. And it's dry. She got a show now on Netflix? Yes, with her and uh, uh, Mike Epps. Oh, you show right. Yeah, I like What's the show called? Uh, all of us or <laughs> into us. Some, some <laughs> it's a funny show. She plays a straight warmer. Yes. It's hilarious. It's weird. But no, uh, fucking Cheryl Underwood talking about something. I'm scared to do comedy now because somebody, cause somebody could come up and slap me. Everybody kind of chimed in on that, um, on that, you know. I think the only person who had something really uh, educational to say about it would be Bill, Bill um, Bellamy? No, Bill, Bill Maher. Bill Maher, yeah. What the fuck he said? He was just like, you know, if you mad about alopecia, there's way more other things that you could have that you could be living with. Right. And you mad about not having hair. Like, right. To me, alopecia is like Asperger's. <laughs> I mean... It's 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 comical to me. It's funny. How though? I don't know. I have a weird sense of humor. You are a Scorpio. Well, I say this: alopecia is not a super serious condition mm-hmm. where you got to be that offended by it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because there's people who rocking bald heads that don't have alopecia. So why? Right. Are you- I don't know. But she had came out like before the whole joke. Oh, she was like, she was proud of it. Didn't care what people had to say. Yeah. Yeah. And she stopped wearing turbans. Right. And so it was like, right? Yeah. So it was like, why? Why are you upset now? Right. Right. So okay. So, do you think that Will Smith and I, I know we're gonna we got a lot a big wide spectrum, but do you think Will Smith was defending his wife or he was just? I was hoping he was slapping him because the joke really weighed that butt. <laughs> right. It was one of those like, oh, okay, I get it. Okay, I didn't even get on. it until afterwards. I got it. I was like, because uh, I forgot her fucking name, but the woman who played G.I.J. had shaved their head. Demi Moore. Demi Moore. Uh-huh. Somebody else was saying it was deeper than that. Somebody had said, because Demi Moore had left her husband for a younger man. Mm-hmm. And so they was trying to apply it to oh, you him saying. When she left, she was trying to fashion? Yeah. Okay. And so they was like, oh, okay. Because that's what Jada did. That's Oh, yeah. they're trying to apply it to the August. I seen us. Yeah, mm. I was like, yeah. I feel like if you finna go sit, sit up here and slap Chris Rock, like everybody else been saying, why you even slap August? Like, why you let him get out here and say he couldn't get him? Well, first of all, according to August, he gave him permission to sleep with his wife. Yes, because they got the whole over, right. Yeah, you know. but then, if you offended though. I mean, he ain't gonna. Uh, he just can't easily walk up on August Alcina. They were sitting at the table together at Red Table Talk when August was letting everybody know that Jada is a freak. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah. You know, I don't watch that shit. I didn't know that. Yeah, they were sitting at the table together like a hunky dory family. And Will was there too. Yes. Why he explained it to everybody? Bitch, I that miss that, every that, fucking that thing. That Jada is the ultimate freak. Yeah, of course. Like, I missed all. And you sitting up there. You ain't not offended no. by none of that. No. I don't know. I feel like I just feel like that Will was just out of out of place for doing that. He should never touch that man. I don't give a curve what the man said. Yeah. Yeah. It was no place. But the joke wasn't funny. The joke wasn't funny <coughs> and Will overreacted. But I really think that Jada Pinkett I think Will Smith is a puppet for her. Yeah. She just does what And I think Jada's his beard. It's what? His beard. Why do you say that? I don't get it. You know what a beard is? A facial beard? No. A beard is when a gay man would be with a woman just so they can have the appearance of him being, being straight. straight. So you think that Jada always knew that Will may be gay? Yeah. What do you mean maybe? Because he ain't never came out. Yes, so he I did. He, he allegedly, he never He came out in that movie. Six <laughs> degrees of separation. That was way, song, that was way before Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Like That's that was way. Song, bro. He never came out and said. But he was good in that movie. No, he, he, he was. He did really part. good because he was playing himself. That's when a really good movie. Tell the truth, bro. <laughs> so he wasn't acting on that at all. Uh-huh. That was uh-huh. true. Very yeah. true, bro. He yeah. was all about appearances in that movie, just yeah. like he is now. Yeah. He was playing but himself. I, kinda, I think he was a bottom in that movie. Child, I'm not gonna go that far, but I wouldn't put it in my ah, maybe, maybe a verse. Yeah, yeah a maybe a verse. verse. <laughs> he might have been a verse. Because I feel like when I seen that movie, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. 
You still still look like you wasn't up. At that time, I didn't because I wasn't really <laughs> seeing it on a regular like that. So I didn't know what it was. I'm like, ah, am I supposed to close my eyes and to watch this? But I don't know. It was just, it was, it was, it was, a mess. <laughs> it was definitely just uncalled for. But it did yeah. definitely got us talking about something other than That's what gas prices. <laughs> right. So, Which gas will go, they uh, went back down a little bit. Yeah, it's like 370. Yeah. yeah. I've seen 360 in some places. But no, but Cheryl Underwood, uh, I didn't know she was 58, bitch. So she said, I'm going to save this as a comment. I'm afraid now to get on stage because in my third show, uh, when everyone's been drinking, if you don't like my joke, do you now believe that you can get up and slap me? I think everybody just making a huge thing out of this. That's not gonna be a normal thing. People, yeah. people, it's not gonna be like, oh, now I can't tell a joke because somebody might slap me. That's not gonna happen a lot. That just happened that night because Will Smith was just doing too much. Yeah, he was actually doing too much, and I just. But you know, but that does happen though. People see shit on TV and in the movies, and then they go in real life and. Reenacting re the shit. Yeah, yeah. I was watching this. I was watching. You ever watch Rick and Morty? Uh, not really. It's not a it yeah. It's a cartoon show. One of the fucking episodes on there was was Rick turned himself into a pickle. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was another episode where he was talking about the Szechuan sauce that McDonald's had when Mulan had came out. Okay, tell me why. That's the racist as hell. But go ahead. Look. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> we about that. Go ahead. Tell me why somebody or a whole lot of people was at fucking McDonald's ordering nuggets, trying to call Thomas on. Can you bring back the Szechuan sauce? <laughs> and then the episode, yeah, because of the fucking episode. Then you had this white boy jumping on top of the fucking counter, mm -hmm. talking about some I'm pickle Rick. Oh my god! <laughs> Roll around on the goddamn floor, floor like he's like, patting the bear. But think about the demographic for Rick and Morty, though. Yeah, that that ain't really intellectual people. <laughs> you saying white people ain't intellectual? I'm saying the type of people that we're talking about. Not those like, ones I saw. So <laughs> I ain't seen no black people up there. Demographic. It is what it is. I, I ain't, I'm not saying nothing about nobody, no color. I don't care. But I'm just saying. The type of pe people that that show, you know, caters to, it ain't no people who gonna be, you know, paying a lot of money for their food. They gonna go to McDonald's. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but, That's funny, y'all. But I hate it because I think Amy Schumer was saying the same thing, talking about some. I'm gonna uh, go on a break because she was just so shocked. I think it's just. It just I think the reaction has to be what it is because everybody was like, Oh, it's not a big deal, then it's not really to me. It's not really a big deal. There's been plenty of times in the hood where I've seen somebody say something they ain't supposed to say something. Like, yeah. That's why everybody in the hood that's why black people was like, Chris Rogers, okay. He but, didn't even try to like buck at him or nothing. He Chris, put his hands behind his back and leaned in. Yeah. And flinched. Exactly. He was like, Oh, oh. You about to hit yeah. your head. And let him connect. Like, come on now. You regular black people not doing it. Like, wait a minute. Back up. We finna chase your ass off the stage and jump on your back and we finna tussle right. until I, you know what I'm saying, redeem myself. Somebody said it was planned because they was like, wasn't no security, not no damn well. It was security, but they weren't like on high alert. I mean, you talking about celebrities. <laughs> Multi-million dollar people. Who they, what they supposed to be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't know. It was just a. I think it's a distraction. Yeah. When I first it saw it, I thought. Retarded. Yeah, I thought it was fake when I first saw it, but then I, after a while, I was like, maybe it was oh. real. Yeah, the first thing I saw was the video. <laughs> no, what did I see? Okay, one thing that I do, I will go when I'm on Twitter mm -hmm. or when I'm like googling shit, mm -hmm. I will see what's trending. What? Right. Will Smith's name was at the top of the fucking list, so I was like, so what happened? So I typed his name in and on Twitter, and that was the first thing I saw was the video mm -hmm. of him slapping the shit out of him. Well, they did say, I mean, I think it's all for money and stuff. You all right? Well, I'm thinking about oh, okay. this show. Oh, I'll okay. talk to you all about it later. Okay. <laughs> what I'm thinking about is that it's all about, I mean, I tell Shamar this all the time. We talk about it all the time. Everything is about money. Right. Because Chris Rock, his his uh, comedy, his show. comedy shows was not selling out. It wasn't like 
doing what they did back when he was, you know, on top yeah. of the game. Now all of his shows Back are, when he was talking about the difference between black people and niggas. Yeah, niggas, yeah. <laughs> Which you never had the pass to do that because you anyway, you Chris Rock. But anyway, yeah. um now his his uh ticket sales have spiked. Right. All of his shows are sold out. People are standing around the corner to see him, which means all that was for in my head, all that was just for that. Like, yeah. What how else we gonna get his ticket? Because he was doing a show the next night? Yes. The next night he did a show. Right. Or if it wasn't the next night, it was, it was a couple shortly of nights. After. Yeah. yeah. And all of a sudden your ticket sales. Now you sold out. Okay. Just, yeah. I'm gonna put that together. That was not hard to put together, but yeah, Will Smith. But I feel like Will Smith is not probably gonna even like. At first, I'm thinking, okay, this man about to be black ball. Then I thought about, thought about it some more. No, he not. He is not about to be black ball. No, he gonna be in another blockbuster movie real soon, and we are gonna be like, oh, that happened and that's over. Oh, speaking of black ball, did you see they talking about some Lee Daniels finally apologized to Monique? Well, you know, Monique is getting put back on through uh Fifty Cent. It's him putting her back on. True. So who? He putting her back out there. For what? For I mean, where? There. I don't know. He got to do who he knows in Hollywood, but 50 Cent's a very connected man. So he really might have true. some clout. I heard it on the going to put him in power? He might. You never know. You never know what 50 Cent. He might create a whole damn show and put her in the, you know, in the star. It better not be based on this fucking... It better not be based on her trying to get an apology from Tyler Perry. No, I don't think so. I'm just saying, I heard that he was putting her back, you know, to the status that she was before he went. Oh, okay. What happened? What happened? It's like that. On the left. <laughs> but yeah. So. We in the building, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so, Monique Lee Daniels, Patch, Few, Chill. Uh, she'll replace Octavia Spencer in Netflix thriller Demon House. Oh, she replaced Octavia Spencer? Yeah, so Lee Dan's like, oh, wait. I've never seen that. What the hell is Demon House? And what the hell did Octavia Spencer do? Yeah, right? She Let's see. Somebody else, man. Let me see. Cause does Lee Dan's do that show? Let's find out. So, Demon House? It's on Netflix? Yeah. Let's do some Googling. Like who's all part of this show? We Google y'all, right? Look up production because I'm trying to figure out like, like is this okay? So let's read the story. So after uh, after not speaking for 13 years, Oscar-winning Precious star Monique uh, has been set by uh, set by that film's director Lee Daniels to replace Octavia Spencer in Demon House, an exorcism film uh, package that Netflix acquired after a brisk auction in January. Spencer had to bow out. Oh, okay, she had to bow out, uh, bow out of the Star Studded film because of scheduling conflicts with her Apple TV television show, Truth Be Told. Okay, so that's Okay, right. I'm about to say like, what the fuck? So I don't see much about the show. Mm -hmm. Only it came out a couple, a few years ago. It came out in 2018. Okay, because mine's the same, 2019. Girl, whatever. But, uh, I think it's the same thing, though. Let me see. Ah. Yeah, that's it. Oh, okay. Ah. Ah. I've never heard of this. Me neither. You gonna watch it? Hell no. Why not? I don't do the scary. Because I'm scary. At all? I'm scary. I mean, I guess I'll have to watch it. Then. it yes, you're gonna have to watch it. It took me forever to watch the movie with the with the uh dude with the uh sunken place because I thought that was scary. <laughs> okay, it, it had a scary moment. That's what I'm saying. I was like, Ooh. get out. That's yeah, and then the picture, and then the uh, what's the other movie with Lapita? Lapita. Oh, uh, that was, uh, that was scary to me. I'm scared. That was <laughs> I'm so scary. Sorry, y'all. So you don't watch anything scary, like nothing, like not even a thriller. No, nope. well, maybe a thriller, maybe a thriller, but nothing like, Too especially scary. nothing ghost related. We doing it's nip. Mm -mm. No, I ain't doing that. Some of the shit be funny to me. Yeah, cause you used to it. I'm still scared of Freddy Krueger fake ass. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> you can see the mask. So I still get scared of that. Right. So let's see what happened. But I saw the picture work because they took a picture together. Lee Daniels looks sick. I'm like, he must be dying. That's probably why he apologized. He's getting old. Lee Daniels is old now. Right. How old is Lee Daniels? Old than Methuselah. I hate you. Bitch, he ain't number 62. He old. That's old. He is not old. He ain't that old. I don't think he's looking bad. I know old people. But no, it was the... I don't know what happened. Why he look like Tyler Perry? What's wrong with these men? Why are they all looking like each other? They all want to grow a beard and shit. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with the beard, but it's like the whole Facebook the same thing. Right. But let me show y'all this, because I was like... he. This, this was the, that was the picture. I was like, he looks sick. Let's see if I can find it. Do, 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 and how did Lee Daniels do, even get do, like? How did he even get to where he's at? Ciao. Because it looks like that. one minute Lee Daniels. Who the hell? Is, I mean, I know he did Precious, but like yeah, I mean, that was that was that was it. It, it was, was Precious. Yeah. Day? Wow. And that was when um that was when Todd when Todd Perry and Monique brought him on. See, look, that's mm-hmm. like he kind of looks sick there. Oh, in that picture, he does. yeah. Yeah, I can see what you're talking about. It better not be His AIDS. I swear to God. In this day and age, ain't nobody got AIDS. <laughs> it's, it's, they don't. Like, it's so much stuff out here now. Yeah. Maybe HIV, but not to the point yeah. you're going to die from it unless you're not taking your medicine. Right. Nah, look, he just, he look old. No, maybe he doing the same thing that um uh, Al Sharpton did. Maybe he just living a living a clean lifestyle. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Cause Al Sharpton, baby, ooh, he, he should have stayed fat. His head too big for or him. Or not lose that much weight. His head too big for him to be skinny. Right. I'm sorry. Well, that's because he's been fat all his life. All his life. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't really know how big the head was. Yeah, is that like George Lopez? George Lopez got a big ass head. When I say a wop head, man, I thought my head was a jawbreaker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, we gonna start talking about people here. Right. You gotta be, you do have to be. It's just like uh, fucking Jennifer Hudson. When she, when, when she first started losing weight, it was like, damn, my head kind of big. Oh, it's something in the freezer. Okay. Grab a cup. Get you a cup right there. As a matter of fact, can you take the jugs out for me? But I'm happy to hear Lee Daniels is doing that, though. Because, I mean, we don't... Well, like, surviving, because... No, he needs to stop with this whole Monique shit. Yeah. Like, what you you mad about? Really nothing. I mean... But they... I don't know if it was him. I don't know what happened. I don't... Okay, this, this is what I think will happen with the Monique shit. I don't think they blackballed her. I think they was just telling people the stories. Like, let me tell you what happened when I worked with this bitch. Like kind of but thing. But it, it was a lot of contradicting stories, though. Some people was like, "Oh yeah, she's a bitch. She's a diva. This and that." And then you heard some people saying that she was like sweet and nice and kind. And so people don't be re- people only report bad stuff. Yeah. You don't hear a lot of people reporting, you know, just stuff. Well, I was talking like with the with Lee Daniels and Oprah. They probably was just telling people this what happened. Like you know when people gossip. Yeah. But I don't think there was somebody intentionally saying, "Don't give her nothing to do." Mm-hmm. And then that's not even play dumb. Monique wasn't doing that much shit to begin with. That's any what I'm fucking say. way. Like, like what are we blackballing her from? <laughs> she wasn't doing shit. She did Fat Girls. That was low no budget. BET. Yeah. And what else? What? Oh, she did. Johnson's, not Johnson, but uh, Roscoe, Welcome Home, Roscoe Jenkins. Welcome Home. And then she did another one with uh, D, uh, the show, this the show, show. Oh, she had, yeah, she had her own show. But that was, show. That that was, was on shitty. UPN. Nah, no, it, was it was on big, BET. Though. It was big. It was on UPN at first. It was big. She had Boston checking out. Yeah. It was big. But what we're saying is that she, she didn't have. What was that? Oh, that was my chair. Is that my chair? Is it broken? Yeah, probably the dog probably been chewing on it. I'm sorry. Oh, it did. It did. It did. That so have no, that's what. That's I'm what happened my last my... chair. Last yeah. time. Uh, Tell the truth. No, last time when I when Jasper was like yeah, inside, you know she was chewing on the. No, hold on to it. Hold on to it till you get. Hold on. What is? What was he like? Point to the trash. Oh, he'll be all right. Just leave it there. I'm sorry. um, You all right? No, when uh, when Jazz was small like him, she would chew on the chairs. Mm -hmm. She chewed on my bed. That's why I don't even have a bed frame. Yeah. 
but she chewed on the chair and I had this guy over and we were sitting there talking, talking mm-hmm. shit. Mm-hmm. Bitch, the chair had broken, he fell. Guess who it was? Talking <laughs> Guess who it was? It was um Danny. Oh, I can't believe I did that. I'm so sorry. You all right? But yeah, that's what happened. He thought he broke, and I was like, "Nah, Jazz just was chewing it." Would you, Danny? Say that Puerto Rican dude? Yeah, he doing good. I talked to him like a week ago. Yeah, I know. I know. I saw you. Don't say nobody's name. You You saw that? They, 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 they out. We out. You're Danny. Cool people. You gotta leave Danny alone. Yeah, <laughs> you watch that? You get up out there. <laughs> I swear you do. I was being messy. Right. Just straight up messy. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'm glad to hear that Lee Daniels and uh, and, and uh, Monique are, you know, killing whatever that was. Yeah, it, it, just, yeah, it wasn't even necessary. One all of that. It really wasn't. And at this point in time, we really do need our hands on deck. Like, For what? Because I mean, it's gonna Hollywood finna go to shit. What, as in what? What you know? I'm just feeling like if, if the Academy Awards is one of the most prestigious levels that you can get to when you're doing any type of acting or anything yeah. like that. And and so how you gonna violate the laws as a one of the biggest actors that we have? And just get up there and slap somebody. That just tells Bitch, me that no, f- because that just oh, tells okay. me that Hollywood is not where it was. Oh, okay. Back in the day, I don't feel like. I mean, I know Hollywood was like really uh, weird. It was weird, <laughs> and, you know. Black people couldn't sit with the white people and all that. Right, yeah. But it, you know, it has grown <laughs> from now. Now we got the niggas. I mean, we just right. We just got a warm star now. Like, come on now. Right. We not prestige. I don't we, even. We are not at the source of. You heard me saying it's just. I don't even think shit like that would happen. Well, no, no, no they had they had some fights. So, yeah, them motherfuckers on stage. You remember? You remember? Well, you don't remember? You weren't here yet. Was but, that, uh, that fifty seven when they were shooting out the window? I don't know, but I know Death Row and them got yeah. on and Puffy and them did all that. What? What are you doing? Where I put them? On, on your the feet. floor. Maybe on your feet. <laughs> We're talking about people that are in the building for the new episodes. This is a special episode. Right. This is in here. He is a mess. But you remember last time we talked about Monique? What was it? Oh, oh, yeah. We got in trouble. We got in trouble. We got a lot of trouble. People was right by neck. Right. Colors all fed up to bitches. <laughs> Why? <Wow. laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Feedback was like that. Yes. Right. It was thousands of comments. So, oh, man. Fuck <laughs> Just because we didn't agree with Monique talking about women wearing bonnets. I agree with her now, y'all. Are we friends again? Man, fuck me. I know, I know. Dre, tell me. Cause like, cause, oh, because did you listen to the phone call? No. It was a phone call that Monique had recorded nah, that she recorded. had with Tyler Perry. It was her and her wife and Tyler Perry. Stop. What? That is a boy, Damon. <laughs> that is a boy. That is a boy she married to. They just, okay. they just like to do stuff. Okay, girl. Anyway. <laughs> She's a call. Okay. <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> Y'all so we catching the earth. Catch it. <laughs> so it was all Bang three of them, all three of them on the fucking phone call, mm-hmm. and Tyler Perry was trying to talk to them, and they were just over talking him, mm-hmm. and just doing like these long fucking speeches, and she tried to market the fucking conversation as of a Tyler Perry apologized for what he did to me. <coughs> oh wow, honey, you didn't hear that shit? Mm-mm. Let me see if I can pull it up. Mm-hmm. Pull it up. Oh, shit was. I was just like, what the fuck? Okay, so this makes sense. Wait a minute, huh? What so happened? 50, Cent, ah. 50 Cent is the one that got on Instagram and wrote that names in Hollywood that uh, need to be saying they sorry to Monique includes oh. Tyler Perry, mm-hmm. Oprah Winfrey, and Lee Daniels. Uh-huh. Now he apologized. That's why I said 50 Cent. He oh. And he about to, he's about to put her back on got, Hollywood. Jay? Oh, he actually food. came on the stage. Who? Let's see. I didn't even see this. Let's see what the fuck. Lee Daniels. Uh huh. I'm trying to see who who, who, who the fuck fifty know. Who the what? Who fifty know? If he can over to do some shit, Lee Daniels, Chad. Oh, he know him. Know him. I ain't gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that with you. I'm not gonna do that. With what? You. I'm not doing that with you. I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. 
I refused. You refused. Create started some chaos. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. No, I'm not. Just, who knows what these folks do behind closed doors? Well, I never know. I know. That's what I said. He could be swearing. Bruh. Right. Right? Look, he came on stage, whatever. So where is he at? I guess it's one of her shows. I just, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I love you, you bitch. She always gotta catch somebody in the head. Is this an April Fool's? Please tell me you know what my fucking April Fool's. Okay, so this is April Fool's. This is so goddamn real. This is so motherfucking real. I'm shaking. That's how it looks. You shake it, bitch, because you hungry. <laughs> and I don't ever want us to lose that magic again. It's like she's gonna be not a damn movie, guy. Let me tell you. Sometimes in life, you get caught up, you know? When you, a nigga and you come from nothing, okay. you, get, you get blinded by some shit. And it took me a long time to realize. 15 fucking years. Bitch, it took you a phone call to pick this. Stop playing with me. I'm not about to do this for me. I am so sorry. Right, that's what I'm thinking. That's what it is. It had to be, cause all of a sudden he did that on March the 17th, on April the first, and then you apologize. So this is my thing. I think Monique is. Um, I think that she's funny in her own right. Yeah, I always I thought Monique that, was funny. I think that she does deserve. She was funny when she was fat. Though. Fat. She definitely had more. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I I feel Ooh, like that's she, another topic of discussion next to next show. What what fat bitches? Fat 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 comedians. Oh yeah, oh fat, fat comedians always they always the funny ones. Yeah. That's why I don't, yeah. I think Bernie Mac was the only exception. What about Marvin, Marvin. Eddie Murphy, uh, Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor. Uh, well, what about like Kevin Hart? You don't think it's funny? With Kevin Hart. This bitch know I don't think Kevin Hart funny. She gonna ask me this shit. <laughs> you don't think Next topic. Funny? Next topic. Next topic. A fat comedian okay. is funny and it's skinny. Okay, comedian. let me get back to what I was finna say about <laughs> this one right here. Yeah. Um, I feel like that Monique does deserve an apology because I don't like think so. Said, no, she did. No, she, she does. Did. Be- yeah, because they ganged up on her. It wasn't no fair fight. Monique didn't have the clout to fight Oprah. They want nobody fighting her when they went against her. These three big Hollywood people. Nobody came out and said not a damn thing against her. They didn't come out and say it, but they strategically did it behind her back and she couldn't get a job. She didn't have anything to begin with. She had enough, though. She, I mean, at one point in time, she was not doing nothing. Monique, who, what, where, what? The only time she got clapped is when she started losing weight. And you know she hates skinny bitches. She had to do that in the right. desperate niche. That's why she's <laughs> that's why she not as skinny. Right. <laughs> She ain't gonna never be that skinny enough. Yeah. That way she feels. But I'm just saying she deserves an apology because I don't. Well, I'm sorry, go ahead. In my opinion, because I feel like she didn't really do anything to don't to get like treated that. like that. Like she But this what I, why you don't think she, like I don't think she deserved an apology only because because this was the whole situation in her contract. She was supposed to do a promotion. She uh, uh, nationally, mm. and then. The, you know, the movie got picked up and went on to... It went bigger. Went, it went to international. It was like... Well, we're well, speaking about Precious. Yeah, about Precious. And so then... Oh, well, she did it because it, it was a low-budget film, too, so she wouldn't even yeah. get that much money. She, right. Then, when it when they started going internationally, they was like, well, can you do promo for that, too? She was like, well, that wasn't in my contract. Right. Well, she was not. Right. And they was like, well, can you, can you please, you know, still do this? And I'm pretty sure they wasn't going to pay her, but it was like... I'm pretty sure they probably like gave you like hotels or something. Right, right. Airfare. Yeah. Right. yeah. But first she was saying she was saying no, because I remember this. The first time when Monique came out about this fucking story, she said no. She didn't want to do it because she wanted to spend time with her family. Right. Which okay. First time she said she want she wanted to spend time with her son because money she was hustling with her first kid. She really didn't spend that much time with it. Right. So she said she wanted to do that. Right. 
But then later on, it was they didn't want to pay me. Right. So which one was? Which it? one was it? Was it? And they could have been. Was it, but she didn't say both when she first came out. Right. When right. she first came out, she was like, I don't want to do it because I want to spend time with my kids. Mm-hmm. Okay, I mean, understood that. But then later on, it's, oh, they didn't want to pay me to do the international press tour. Right. Okay, then which one is it? And then when you hear the phone calls of them trying to uh, negotiate, mm-hmm. it was, are y'all going to pay for this? Are y'all going to pay for that? But do you think that that deserves the treatment she had? That she that she received just because she declined doing something that wasn't in her contract. That's like you getting a job, right? But and we say, don't know. We don't know what Tyler Perry and Oprah and Lee did. We just getting what Monique said. Cause that's the only person who's uh, who's talking about it, so we don't have nothing else to go about but what she said. Yeah, but that's like you. But we don't know for sure. That's like saying, "Oh, they fired me because I'm black." Well, no, if they told you something else. Like we don't know what was said and done behind the scenes. You get what I'm saying? I get it, but sometimes you do have to read between the lines. That's like if you got a job, okay, as the head. Oh, I'm sorry, I lied. Lee Daniels did come out and say something. He said she was difficult to work with. He said that she didn't want to play ball. I remember that. Difficult to work with. I do remember him saying that too. But we. My thing is this. That's like you getting a job. But it was the it was the the truth though. No, it was not. Well, why, why when, he, when he said that when you in this business, sometimes you have to do stuff and Monique didn't want to play ball. That was that's not the same. No, that's why not. do you think he said that? Because she didn't want to do the international uh press tour, press tour for, for the movie. Yeah. But my thing is this, okay, let's say you get a job at a at a, at a restaurant, you head chef, right? And then they say, Okay, well, you you gotta cook all this stuff, and they say, you know what? We got another uh, restaurant opening, and we're just going to give you the money that we wanted to pay you over here, but you got to go over there and cook, too. No, bitch, uh-uh. Mm-hmm. You ain't mm-hmm. tell me that. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll make sure you get, a, get mm-hmm. some gas money over there. You can mm-hmm. eat for free. We ain't going to give you no hole. You know what I'm saying? What? Why cool. did she not want to do international See, restaurant? and that's the thing, because she, 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 told, she told two different stories. First, it was she wanted to spend time with the kids, and then later on, it switched up to they didn't want to pay her. Initially, she said it wasn't in her contract. That's what initially she said. I she was like, on stage with her. She initially said that. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Boy, we live in effect. This is um. Pick a struggle. Pick a struggle. Oh, I thought you were talking about the date. And we I'm chilling like, here. I and I never forget. I was on stage with her. This is for the public. Okay. And I was on stage, not to lie. We in Dallas, Texas. I'm on stage with her. Her husband is controlling everything. Yeah, we, we, we got that right now. Just by the way. Yeah. Bad. He's a manager, though. But Ugh. it was a point where it was like, you leave her alone. She's been doing this before you. Right. Yeah. Right. And then even t- when, when uh, Monique recorded the phone call with her uh, and Tyler, Tyler was like, I'll talk to you, but I don't want to talk to your husband. He is. He, yeah. he a mess. She yeah. is a mess. Stop misjudging that woman. Too. That's a boy, damn <laughs> Ching ching. That's a boy, yeah. baby. No, I mean that needs he... to be when, when that comes up on the show. Right. Man, that's yeah. the boy, baby. It's, it's possible, but, but 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 let's go ahead and just make it really what it is. He wouldn't be able to do that if she wasn't opening up that space for him to do it. So it might be something that Monique is not Will, confident about. Thing with Will Smith. Maybe he not. Maybe Monique is not confident with certain things. So that's why she brings her husband onto the. But well, why would you do that? Well, I, okay. I know. I'm I did. Some saying. people are like. It's some people are like. You know, it's better to bring family because you can trust them. Type shit. But bitch, if I don't work, none of us do. Exactly. So you doing? So too I'm much. gonna guess I'm gonna need you to do something else. Right. Right. That's how fucking like. That's how Kelly Clarkson got to pay all that goddamn money. Mm. And pay child support because her husband baby. was her manager. That's cool, baby. You know what? The it's mom, safe. the momagers, and the husband managers, and all, that did not work. <laughs> no. You see what happened to Usher? You see what happened to uh, the boy who did Usher? Yeah, his mom. Yeah. Bow wow. His bow wow ain't got a damn pocket to kiss in because of his mom. Oh, wow. wow. But she yeah. And uh, the, the young man off a different stroke, the little, the, the little one on Arnold. You, you yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, he was on Big Brother. Celebrity. No, you talking about Ty Bridges. this week. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> no, but the little boy, I forget his name, but he Gary ended up G- Gary Coleman. He was broke. Oh, he was his mom and bitch, dad. he was on divorce court. When I saw I was like, you didn't hit a whole new love. 
Cha ching. <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny looking young man, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh, like right. it's one thing to be a midget. But you gotta but both on the top of it. Right. Then yeah, uh, uh, Mary J. Blige. Cha ching. Yeah. Can't do. Can't do. Gotta pay all that money out because you got your husband as your manager. She should have never got <laughs> Would you shut <laughs> up? <laughs> She ain't getting no more. She does. Uh, uh, who's the other one? Fucking Tamar and her husband got a divorce. Uh, got a but see, Vince did put Tamar on though, because Tamar didn't have no career. No, Tamar. I thought he was gonna say yes. <laughs> Tamar didn't have no career until she, she got did with have not one. like she she had a little bit in the nineties and she had yeah. that one song that was busting and then she had her group with her sisters. And, and uh, rest in peace to Tracy. Right. Tracy Braxton. Okay. Um, but um, Tamar didn't get put on again until the show. Her and Vince. They had the show. The show. Yeah, yeah. The show and then Vince was like, okay, I'm a producer. I'm going to put my wife on. Mm. But. Because now she has the momentum she, because she has the show. But yeah. then mm. she blew up and then mm. she died down again because she was just doing talk shows. Mm. And she then did they the real. Up, yeah. And then they ended up divorcing. And not I hope, before she got fired. Mm. No, but they said, they said it was Vince that got her fired. That, uh, they said, you. Yeah. I don't remember that. Yeah, they said it was Vince. He was talking to um, uh, what's the one that go with the white man? This uh, Lonnie. He was talking to Lonnie. Lonnie go. Oh, she stayed with him. Mm-hmm. He was talking to Lonnie, and then I don't know. Don't they, they got into, inserted there. They got into, They got into it, and, and this Tamar was gone. Shut your mouth. Mm-hmm. I told. Oh, I don't remember hearing. Mm-hmm. And then all the shit Wendy going through. With her husband, ex-husband. Yeah, but I think she should have stayed with him. He was cheating on her. I don't give a shit. Was she he, was still was, able. She was, was still doing the show. Yeah. You think so? That's how she got the show to begin with. Yeah, but he was making a fool out of her though. Yeah. He had. He was all in pictures with the girl and doing too much. Yeah. Buying houses. Like if you don't have well, a side, was, bitch, yeah, it, a side bitch, but it was paparazzi. It wasn't him. To, them just for the taking pictures. But what him. I'm saying is, he wasn't trying getting to get caught straight. up. Yeah. yeah. He was like, yeah, but look what's happening since she left her. That was just her karma. <laughs> We have been fucking with people since the early nineties, and you know what's so fucked up? I remember, I was, I remember, I was watching, uh, I was watching the show. I only watched it because Sherry Shepard be on there, mm-hmm. and I'm glad she's on there now. But the, I heard some disturbing shit. She was like, "I'm, you know, I'm going to get my own show. You know, sometimes, you know, God be like, you know, it, it's a yes from Him, but just not right now. And right now is the perfect time now to finally have a show. Bitch, somebody had to be literally sick and put in the psych ward for you to get your own show, and you gonna thank God for that? Yeah, God moved <laughs> in a mysterious way. God works in a mysterious way. It's called ebb and flow. It's a balance. But this shit somebody don't. Somebody make- gotta be when somebody leaves, somebody come. When somebody sick, somebody will. But that don't even flow. But that don't make any sense though. Why would someone else's downfall no, be she, yo up? But you taking that out of perspective though. No, but that's it. Wasn't like, it is. It was like she was like, oh, I'm so glad that bitch got sick. What nobody on the show? What nobody checking for Sherry to have her own show until Wendy got sick and she had to get a co-host. God, and hey, you not gonna say, that. oh, thank God, Wendy got you see sick. So the ripple, the seat. Excuse me, Lord. I still, you know, <laughs> love you. You know, my heart died. You see what he did to the Red Sea? He parted that motherfucker and let everybody go. Girl, what the fuck that got because, because just because she got sick don't mean that Sherry Shepard don't deserve to be where she at. Ain't nobody saying that. And she just saying, thank God, ain't nobody, this is my time. Ain't nobody saying Sherry don't deserve shit. Ain't nobody saying that. Just like the what I'm the honey, saying Just is, like the, you know, the daddy. He got to die so the son can come in and take over the company. And that make shit drive. was weird to me. That's just the order of it. To hear Simba talk to him, I can't wait for my daddy to die. Simba ain't said that. He just he, said one day, I this can't, will be mine. He said, I can't wait to be king. What that mean? I can't wait for my daddy to die. So he I didn't say that. Don't do Simba and like that. And then when his daddy died, he cried. Don't do Simba like that. Simba was just like, you know what? Now look, one day, this me and you, you going to be my bitch. One day, me and you going to have this. We're going to be patrolled. Right. When when daddy leave, this going to be us. Just take it in. That's how Simba was saying. He, he, he loved his daddy. He did. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> don't, turn, don't demonize 
The Lion King. Come on. <laughs> but no, but I don't, yeah, but mm, yeah. I find it weird. He's apologizing now. Yeah, it's 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 a little weird and it came out of this out of nowhere. Well maybe because he's not he's not popping no more. He don't have uh he don't have as many T V shows out like he used to. He's kind of just chillaxing. Yeah, you know, I think we'll just never know the real reason, but if we can help Monique get to where she needs to be, then that's cool. You got somewhere to go? Oh, okay. Until we get done. Yeah, it's over when we get done. Oh, so we're we doing like this. Listen, Sharon Rothstein's here. <laughs> DJ Sharon Rothstein, but Sharon Rothstein, if you know oh, me. Oh, we're going to put it right to the turntables and give a little Yeah, we're going to do something. We're going to have a segment pretty soon. We're going to talk about this. Oh, this is yeah, because this is a dope show, is it? Right. Ooh. I think so. But Sherry <laughs> Shepard, I mean, not Sherry Shepard, Monique, kudos. Hope you take this opportunity and do right with it. Right. I don't know. Wendy told some bitch, I'm coming back. So. I seen when they said she coming yeah. back. Wendy sitting out somewhere. Like, so don't don't get too comfortable. Don't girl. yeah. Don't get, don't get too comfortable in the seat, girl, because I'm coming to claim my seat back. Right. It'll be cool if they can do it together. No. You don't think so? The dynamic is not right. No. No. Sherry, Sherry, Sherry's too positive. She's too passive too. Yeah. Wendy will eat her ass up. Right. Like but I actually like home. the show. I, I like the show way better with Sherry. Yeah. Cause you can't take like negatively and miss too much. Like at, at first, you no, know, I was ooh. watching it. And I was like, I don't get damn. I like the mix. It so <laughs> pretty like soon, that. yeah. But well, pretty, right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, what was you saying? Pretty Sorry. soon to the public. To what we're doing. Do you agree? Like cool. We're going to show them who the hell we are. Oh yeah, they they know what we are. I picture right there. I know. I'm gonna have to add myself to that one. Right. I'm, I'm really liking it. <laughs> This is something I could do on a Sunday day, day basis every day. Yeah. A Sunday every day? Yeah. Sunday every day. Every week? Every you day. Once, once a week. I, I be wanting to do it every day. We, Sometimes we, I just don't, no, I don't really feel it. We talked about it. Not every day, I but I said Sunday every week. I don't think I have the, I don't think I have the stamina. Because I don't know if y'all like this, but you, you know like, what? You have to. The flavor is at it. <laughs> Right? It would have to be confined. You know, brought the paprika. Yeah, it would have to have I both I brought the smoked paprika. <laughs> right. In that smack your mama sauce. Mm-hmm. Or that smack your mama seasoning. seasoning. I hate that fucking seasoning. You don't like it? No, my mama used it on every goddamn thing. That's how black people use. They get that one seasoning and they put it on everything. Mm-hmm. They don't switch it up. They be using uh, it for years. Mama, people are like, Mama, how you fix that chicken? They come out the same way. Your mama, get you some Tommy Satchers. You, know, you know what was funny? Because uh, she uses on everything. And so when I went over the first cook, time visitor, y'all, you know, first time. Right, it's his first time over here. Mm-hmm. First time. Put in the middle. You're going to see what happens after this one. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're going to have a good time. Y'all ready? Let's go. And so when I went over to my mama's house, but I had I stayed like a, I had stayed, stayed over there for a minute, then I had started cooking. And the husband was like, oh, all the food tastes different. Because mm-hmm. it was different flavors. And yeah. Same, you don't put the same seasonings on every fucking thing. Have you ever tried, okay, this is kind of off topic, but have you ever tried that mixed up seasoning? It comes in like a white. I don't, container. I don't. Oh, you do, you do the, the first stuff, right? Yeah. yeah the herbs, stuff, my bad. I didn't mean to disrespect you like that. Ah! But, um, for us amateurs, I use amateurs. I use this, uh, amateurs. 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 <laughs> you have a little ring on it. Right. I use this one season that I just found out about. It's called mixed up season for y'all who just learned to cook or already been cooking or who want to switch it up. It's a good season. Y'all and what the fuck it. is in it? It's, um, it has it's what no salt and pepper. And, I mean, it's got no salt in it, but it has like it's a mixture of all seasonings together. Mm. I'm gonna good. bring it for you. With no fucking salt? Is Was it, it for diabetics? No! Ah! It's for people who don't want their food salty. <laughs> the audacity. The audacity to season oh, food with no yeah, damn salt. Right? <laughs> Tell them. The, the base, most basic fucking season you can use is salt. Think so? I know so. Mm. Yeah, he's a chef. But uh one he, one he thing know what he does. He does a lot of chef work. One seasoning you don't put in food is like sperm. Oh, Who don't drop some sperm in food? Oh, Louisiana okay. teacher admits the feeding Louisiana, students. That's it. Stop. <laughs> Say no more. The feeding students sperm lace cupcakes. Hmm. Okay, oh I, okay. I heard look, 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 look. <laughs> look at Duke. <laughs> We got like, a young what? man that's 13 yeah. or 12 years old. He's looking like, what the hell is uh-huh. that? So, uh, mm, 
So a Louisiana school teacher admitted to lacing cupcakes with her ex-husband's sperm and feeding them to the children now faces 40 years in prison. You think 40 years is that's, enough? That's not that's enough. Not. Okay, y'all, go back to mixed up season real quick. It has uh, spices, them? onion, and garlic. My bad. Oh, my <laughs> spices. What is spices. see? That's why I don't. That's why I don't. They don't have like, seasons. They don't oh. elaborate. They just say spices. Like what the fuck is a spice? spice, spice. Girl, you know what? You know some shit. Some shit I stop eating because I would read the ingredients. Spider, and mind. sometimes one of the ingredients be blue. Just the word blue. Blue. Do the food be blue? Yeah, it would be blue. But I, I was like, color. what the fuck is blue? Color. Say that. <laughs> okay, let's talk about these nasty ass cupcakes. I wonder right. if they was moist. Had to be. You think they were and sticky? Yeah, they probably was real decadent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I wonder if them kids enjoyed them. Girl, shut. <laughs> I just want to know. Inquiring moms want to know were they good? Yeah, they, they, they probably don't know. They probably like, couldn't taste it. What? So yeah. instead of egg white, she put. She probably did. Yeah. Because she know that it's it's protein. You know, I'm trying to figure out how the fuck was she able to store this? Well, get it in the store. I'm thinking, was he in on it? Okay, let me read this article. Yeah, please, because I got to know. Right. So in 2019, Louisiana Sheriff's Lieutenant uh, Dennis Perkins and his wife, Cynthia Perkins, were arrested and charged with... Oh, so he was in... Bitch. Oh, shit. He was involved with it? No. They were charged with creating child pornography. Oh, okay. Video voren, um, voyeurism. You know what that is? Yes. Yes. What is it? Watching? No. Yes. Video vo- voyeurism is when you record yourself having sex in public. Oh, I didn't know what that was. Uh, you going to jail for that? Y- having sex in public is illegal. Define public. Bitch, <laughs> in the car outside. In the car? Yes. Oh. Outside, in the park. The car? Damn. Portal potties. Portal potties? I've seen it and done it. And. They ain't saying they did to that dog. <laughs> wow, man, real fucked up. Uh, so, porta potties, anything considered outside of your house? Yeah, any yes. Keep on. And rape. That was it. So he okay. So he done raped somebody. Oh no, no, he done oh, recorded God. his stuff doing, away from doing this in the car. Home. And then he done Raping now he bad. done put some damn sperm in these keys. Right. So, so, well, were they chocolate muffins? Or, uh, I don't know. So, that's, to, okay, so it says Cynthia Perkins admitted to her crimes and pled guilty uh, in court. She not only uh, waved up here, yada, 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 yada. Mm. Oh. How much time did she get? Not yet. I don't think, because this happened. 2019? This, no. I'm sure. You scared me. Get that one. Maybe yeah, she's still waiting. Because you don't call she's still waiting. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, what it says, further agreement, Cynthia admitted to helping her ex husband sexual assault a juvenile, uh, filmed the juvenile bathing and lace cupcakes with sperm from her ex husband. Is she a teacher? The freaking disrespect to the education system. Her husband was the sheriff. Oh my goodness. What town was that in? This is Louisiana. Walker, Louisiana. Wow, that's crazy. That's terrible for yeah. the kids. But Cynthia too. allegedly filed for divorce after after the couple was arrested and charged. Now she don't want his ass no more. Yeah. And she just as nasty as me. Oh, then they said she was manipulated by her by her now ex husband into committing child sex crimes. She and you know what's like funny? You know what if you if you get caught having sex outside, you can be put on uh um, that, yeah. that that that, 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 that specialist. Mm-hmm. That list, that, uh, sex offender. Child list. Thank you. Sex offender. Well, uh, the white people. Mm. We know they white for sure. Girl, the picture right? Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't. You didn't. Oh, wow. I'm not even trying to be funny, but they don't even look like, you know. A couple. They, yeah, they look like somebody who just. They look like they're related. They yeah. probably is. That's probably why they're doing that crazy stuff. they probably cousins. Mm. But just Louis Hill, <laughs> damn sure. Like, I just cannot picture. Third remove don't count. Yeah. I just cannot picture ejaculating somebody and then saving the sperm and then 
freezing it or whatever, and then I'm thawing it to put it in the fucking cup. Mm. She, he probably just got right in the cupcake with it. Yes. We're using his frosting. He probably was just like, let me get that bowl right quick. Mm. And <laughs> <laughs> he probably did it while she was cooking it. Mm. She probably like, yeah, baby, that's good. That's that girl's crap. And you know, now. She cooking that crap. She <laughs> brought that mixer. It's gonna gonna be good. Good. You know what I'm glad you did. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna serve you some of this. And now, yeah, I'm still, still, and I remember when I was in school, you know, he always eat teacher stuff. I, I ain't, I'm not, I don't see it. Anytime it's teachers, used, I mean, not teachers, but anytime uh, parents used to bring, my mama would not let me, if somebody bring something to the party, if it ain't packaged, right. you better not eat it. I'm like, uh, people nasty, people, and this and is And they did better open it up in front of you. Proof of it. Wow. So yeah, they ain't open in the front yeah. of you. They ain't open in the front of you if it ain't no fresh bag. Right. I'm like, mama, it's just chips. And I don't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, mama. Yeah. All right, mama. All right. That's, awesome. but that's my sister used to be with, uh, when I would be hanging out. Mm-hmm. She used to, she was like, if you don't see them rolling it, don't, don't smoke, smoke it. it. Yeah. That's what I said. That's what I used to say back in the day, you know, when I was out there like yeah, that. Yeah, I wish that. DMX did that. Well, no, I right. do too. It's a damn shame. Damn shame. <laughs> but you know what though? Whatever they get, they deserve it, and I hope they get the they get the worst. This is why we need to bring back the fire squad. Yes, because I mean, come on now, just, y'all like just, just violating the right. kids. Like you can do anything to adults. Don't fuck up kids. Yes. Leave the That's babies a, leave alone. Leave the babies alone. The, and the dogs. Leave the pets. And the dogs. Pets, and the, they can't consent. And the pets, huh? Leave the pets alone, and leave the babies, babies alone. And if you want to do that, like leave the old elderly, 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 elderly people. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Cause people do that to old people too. What you looking and for? the special needs. Let's uh, go ahead and throw the whole everybody in here. If you can't, if you cannot give consent to you this, do not do it. That's too much. So I hope they get the whole book. I hope they throw the book at their ass. But they nasty ass up under the gym. Tell them pretty. They need to. That is so cupcake. And that ain't even the worst of it. Like all the other stuff you done did to these babies. Right. Now, and you the sheriff? Yeah. Like, you're right. supposed to be upholding the law, like enforcing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. But mm-hmm. anyway. Right. Hopefully they get the worst of the worst. What else been happening? I don't know. And like we said, you know, we talked about the gas gas prices going back down. That's a relief. Are they going down? They were 370? Yeah. They a little bit good. better yeah, than they were. Was. Yeah. Because I think the national average at one time was like seven something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's what Especially in California. California. And New York where it is. In New York. High as hell. I don't even know why. Everybody don't even got a car. No, that's why. <laughs> but why though? Like, but Cali like, is stupid, right? Everybody got a car in Cali, though. Cali, I don't yeah. know how their public system is. They have it, but it's just. Is it like, well, like I guess, New York? I guess they not, they not live because you know in New York it's like downtown areas where people really yeah. don't have cars. Right, right, right. The outside. Well, I'm from yeah. New Jersey, y'all. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. 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 It's it's a state that's striking. Yeah, it's all about what, was the smell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's you know, after you said that, I had to ask. But him, the like, Trinity smells yeah. like that. The Trinity is just a localized part of Dallas. It smells just smell like Elizabeth, New Jersey. The whole state smells like Elizabeth. No, Elizabeth. It smells like the Trinity River. The whole city? The whole, like, if you're going on a group one, which is a um, turnpike, yeah. it smells, stinks. Oh, and as soon as you go past the seaport, you're like, ooh. <laughs> Just like you go, if, if y'all don't know, the, if y'all don't know the better, y'all, but, you know, if you're in Dallas, and you're going up 30. Oh, God, yes, yeah, that and one you hit spot. that Trinity River, it stinks. Yeah, that's that all that, but spot. I didn't know. I didn't know it was the river though. That's all that sofa. I thought that, it was like a that's like all, a dump thing. Or no, something. that's all that sofa they're trying to put on the dead bodies. Is that mm. right? it's sofa? Yeah. I'm oh, talking wow. about first forty eight right now. Huh? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You know, it's a lot of people watched it. It's no, a lot of people that got dumped in that Trinity back in the seventies. Uh uh-uh. oh. Man, for real. They got dumped over there. We did we a history yeah. lesson today. But yeah, that's this show is about to turn up in a couple every every episode. Right? Every episode. Every episode. Because <laughs> <Every episode. laughs> I think I think we have a trio coming along. Oh lord! 
Man, I'm just gonna tell you right you now. See. The, 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 the show is already show. turned. <laughs> no, we got to turn. I know but we got to turn, turn it up a little more. We be doing too much on this show. We have to censor. I now we got to have video. We got to <laughs> do it like, like nobody <laughs> even said it. <laughs> she Man, wrong. This uh, the don't say gay bill. You heard about it? Who? Don't say gay. No, I have not. So Florida in Florida, ratchet ass Florida, mm. uh, Florida's law limiting LGBTQ discussion in schools. Mm. So you can't say gay. That's the name of the bill. That's the that's the name that people. This is in Florida. In. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you can't say gay referring to people. You can't say gay at all. So I'm gonna read it off because I feel like to explain it. So, uh, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signed into law a measure, the Parental Rights in Education Bill, that critiques uh, uh, that critics have successfully labeled the "Don't Say Gay" bill. It certainly aims to limit LGBTQ discussion in schools, but it's also on the front lines of the battle over how much say parents should have in their children's education. And it raises questions of how mm. much schools should act as a support system mm. for stu- uh, for students. Period. So one advance instruction or classroom discussion about LGBTQ issues mm-hmm. for kindergarten through the third grade. So and then for older students, the discussion about gay and transgender issues has to be age appropriate or developmentally appropriate. <laughs> When did Florida start having open discussion about LGBT? They never did. So people were just like, "Why the fuck are y'all bringing this up?" Who who said that? Like, like who said that? Who said that? What kindergarten is talking about sexuality? None I knew of. I know they're introducing it a little bit on Sesame Street, but that's a whole nother. <laughs> <laughs> she, she said Sesame Street. That's, that ain't school. Said, like, that's at the house, right? So, I mean, Maybe Florida got a different when they come to their school system and they, you know, the curriculum. Maybe they got something different than we do. But have I never heard any discussion, even a, a topic about it, openly in the classroom? Right. And so, so some people have said they felt the way that, like this particular part, they was saying like, what if? Excuse me, like what if a teacher is gay or lesbian, and they're discussing what they did over the weekend or over the holiday break? They can bring like if they have a significant other, they can bring that up. If it's the same sex, yeah, if it's the same sex. Some people would take it that way, but what it actually is is like it can be part of the curriculum. But it's not. It's, but not. it's not a part of the curriculum. Yeah, yeah you not. talking about what you did for the weekend has nothing. That's a that's an introduction. That's a uh, what you call it. Um, yeah, introduction. When you coming back to school, hey, well, how was your weekend? Right. Oh, yeah, me and my gay husband. Like, who's doing that? Nobody. And I remember when I was in school, and I was in high school at this time, I had a gay, he wasn't my teacher, but I was, uh, I was part of the key club, and he was he was my sponsor or whatever. Mm-hmm. And we would go into his classroom and talk about stuff that we needed to do for the club, and never once he brought up his sexuality right. at all. I had a gay dinner. It was okay. it was us being nosy. That's how we knew it. <laughs> like, huh? Right. Yeah. He came here with a big ass rainbow umbrella when it was raining. He was like, bitch, is Mr. Mills gay? Right. Oh. <laughs> I know, I know, like, no, we, no I disclaimer. Had, I had, no disclaimer. I, I had a gay I had oh, a, no disclaimer. I had a gay uh, uh coach. Volleyball yeah. coach. Stop. Was, Don't be saying the name. I, I said no volleyball coach. Mr. Right. Mills know he gay. And you don't mind and, telling people. And, and, and Coach Such and Such knows she was lesbian. <laughs> Coach Such and Such. But we never said it out loud. We right. just knew that she, she liked girls. Right. Girls like girls when she been. Girls like girls when I'm from. Girls like girls when I'm from. Why you been? Double cup over here. Right. But you know what was funny? He will, all, he will also he will be with his teacher a lot. Mm-hmm. This other male teacher. So we was like. Bitch, is Mr. Mills fucking Mr. Duncan? Mm. And then we will, and Mr. Duncan was part of the fucking house. Go ahead. Then Mr. Duncan, he was also part of the uh Yeah, go, 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 go. <laughs> he was also part of Key Club too. Mm-hmm. So when we would go to uh take trips, mm-hmm. uh he would go with us. He would go with us. Mm-hmm. And they would be sharing the room. We'd be like, bitch. Yeah, so Mr. Yeah. <laughs> 
but they never talked about it or nothing. Because you don't. Yeah. Because you don't, yeah. Yeah. You don't even talk about show. You don't even talk about it. Like even if it was a a a, a, a same sex couple. I mean, a, a opposite sex couple. Yeah. Couple. You don't hear them coming to school like yo. You know what I'm saying? Me right. and me and my husband or me and my wife. Like that never was the only thing that we talked about that might have been um. Something that our parents weren't okay with was whenever we had those classes in middle school. Yeah, um, sex, sex ed. Oh, right? And your oh. parent had to agree with it and sign a paper saying that it's okay. I, I know, I work in that yeah. field. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll talk about that next time. But yeah, but, but yeah so like, it was never no sexuality no. involved. It was just more yeah. so these is what's going to happen to your body. Your girl going to go through this, a boy going to go through that. It wasn't like who you going to have sex with. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so I don't and I don't get it. Florida just be doing too much. Yeah. That's why they just be doing like why y'all even going Texas to Texas too. Why y'all even yeah. going to Congress? Texas too. Okay, but we talking about Florida in this situation. But we're gonna we gonna get to Texas. I'm glad he brought that up because I had I had that I got that pulled up too, so but I mean cause Texas did some dumb shit with the books and all that. I do understand Texas. Not only that. But why would you go to Congress and present a bill to be signed? That in the state that in school you can't say the word gay. So that you means you can't that talk about gay shit. You can't talk about gay shit. But what deem gay shit though? That's a big ass. Yeah. That's a wide well, spread. The, the bill itself is very vague. That's so what people, I'm saying. They so made it vague know. for a reason. So that means if it's that vague, then anybody can say, oh, that's gay. You can't say that. Right. Like, come on, man. Y'all doing some of this other stuff we need to be worried about. Right. And so another thing that's in the bill, it empowers parents to sue the school district over teaching <laughs> they don't like. That's it. That's all. It's over now. Right. It's over. <laughs> you telling me I can sue them because everybody think differently. Right. So you might see one thing and be like, oh, that's inappropriate. And somebody else might see something and be like, I don't see nothing wrong with it. So you just telling me that I can go sue you because of my emotions? Right. Damn. Uh, I don't like that at all. Because it's already difficult for teachers anyway. It's already being in They the already ain't got no goddamn money. They ain't got no support. Kids out here hitting teachers and cussing them out. Bitch, like that. The, uh, I, don't know, I think it was in, uh, not Dallas, in, uh, was it DeSoto? Mm hmm where like the student was like throwing the chair at the teacher. That's what I'm saying. The teachers are already like dealing with a lot and to deal with our badass kids for eight hours a day. Now you're telling me that if somebody say something that could be inappropriate or deemed gay, now I can get, nah, it's just nice. I tell kids this, man. I work with them. And, um, what are the ages that you work with? 10 to 21, but usually like middle oh, school, shit. a little bit of high school, but mostly middle school, school, right? Jesus. Listen, listen, Dre. Listen, Dre. Listen, Dre. Listen, Dre. And I'll be like, yo, y'all go to school for eight hours a day. We go to school. We go to work for eight hours a day. All you have to do is learn for eight hours. That's the money you get. That's your cash. Mm -hmm. That's your money. The knowledge, right? right. That's the sometimes. knowledge is your money. You can't even use it at place. Right. <laughs> and a lot, of people, a lot. Of, imagine how many people go to work eight hours a day, don't produce. Right. Same thing when they're your little kid. Mm -hmm. you so anyway, that. that's it. Keep going. <laughs> I'm sorry. But uh, do, 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 do. okay, it says uh, that could uh, what impact uh, uh, what impacts that could have on students that could prompt schools to preemptively shut down teachings or conversations about LGBTQ issues. Mm, that's it. Some librarians across the country are accusing their schools of quietly yeah. removing race okay. and LGBTQ related okay. books from their shelves before yes. it starts a fight. I knew you was going to go that's for that. So, oh, no, let me race? Like, come on now. How are you going to re remove guess. race from books? Well, like, they, no, well, this is what they did. Like, they, they took away some, I think a couple of books understood. I understood why they took it. Like, um, one book, I totally forgot what the fuck it was called. It was something, it was called Mouse or something like that. Mm. That it was basically a, a Nazi propaganda book. Mm. Okay. So that I understood. That's different. But take away books like Huckleberry Finn or what The they Mockingbird. What they say the word nigga, which is. Which they don't, they switch that. Yeah, they had already they switched. Took the they took niggas out and then put the colors in yeah, them. or slave or what the fuck ever they were. Huckleberry Finn, Huckleberry Finn, they replaced niggas with colors. Mm. I don't know yeah. about the mockingbird. 
or a time to kill. I don't know about But you know, the Mockingbird, that's what the book was about. The Mockingbird was about the trial. That's what I'm saying. Uh, if you remove these things from it, it takes away the um, creativity of the book. Like, I feel like there's a time and a place for everything. And that book was written. He probably got confused. That book no, was girl. I thought he was just sitting there. So I just thought my door just opened and closed by itself. Oh. oh. <laughs> but that book, to me, I feel like that everything is needed. We need to see that that's the. She can't, he can't get it. I know. I'm watching them. He like, what's I'm doing? Right. I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm sorry, like y'all. Show... We watching Sam trying to get off the couch, and it's hilarious. <laughs> he gonna get down to it. He'll figure it out. I feel like it's just we have to see the difference. Like we need books and we need history to see where we were at and where we were, where we're going. Yeah. And if you take certain things that were that were a part of that time, then you take away the effectiveness of that book. Right. Like now we can just say, okay, well everything that has the word purple in it, let's go ahead and take it out because purple's not part of the primary colors. <laughs> like you know, only like y'all reaching. Right. Yeah. You at this point you just reaching. Like, I, I don't like that. I want to know how it was. If we were being called niggas at one point in time, I want to know about I it. I want to know. Like, what was going on around the time? Why was we being called niggas? Right. That's like, let's, let's but go But people ahead. are so far off. People are just so... Not far off, but I'm talking about, like, generation. Removed. We, yeah, it's removed. So far but like, that's like, like, I'm pretty sure, like, my sister... Like, because Misty was, like, one of the first ones I noticed. The change that was so removed from that. Yeah, because mm-hmm. she will go like she she didn't like when we was like, mm-hmm. oh they Mexican or they white or yeah. they black. She was like, no, don't do that. It's like true. we're all people. Yeah. And I was just like, oh that's cute, but girl, fuck this shit. I'm still living, and we only got like a ten year difference. Right, right. And so some of the yeah, some of the stuff that you that I experienced, you may have too. Right, right. And Later on in time. life, yeah. Right, and it's necessary for growth because if we don't know we've been. How the fuck we gonna know where we're going? Yeah. And then the, that's like that's like saying, you know what? I don't like the word slave. Let's go ahead and just call them free workers. Right. Let's just take uh, a slave out of the freelancers. Let's, yeah. Let's get freelancers. <laughs> like y'all, it, the reach the reach for me is just getting to the point where it's like Aww. it's so much other stuff that we can be focused on. Like let's give equality <laughs> to women and train. Like it's so many other ways to put our energy. Why are we putting our energy into something that already has happen yeah we have so many stuff like right in front of us that right. we can deal with right now what about these kids getting molested left and right what about the, a certain church that is condoning this type of behavior? The catholics like, yeah I all of them are. i ain't want to say and if, if you a catholic and you know your church or whoever you belong to is doing weird shit and you still following them, but you part of the problem. Yeah. I don't give a damn like, if you come outside someone well, I don't condone it. Well, you still part of that group. Right. That's mm-hmm. that's why I wouldn't call myself a Christian. Because I know the fucked up shit Christians can do. Shit. Everybody and I don't want to be affiliated because every time people tell me they're Christian, I'm like, oh okay. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, um, okay. Okay, girl. <laughs> Right, but that uh, point. right. So there's a uh, oh, there's something else. So it requires schools to tell parents when their child receives mental health services. That's, so yeah. it really? could take away a school's ability to serve uh, to serve as a haven for students who might not feel comfortable okay. talking to their parents about their gender orientation or sexuality. But uh, proponents say it would ensure parents are informed if their child is ex- experiencing confusion over their identity. I feel like yeah. Yeah. I feel like parents definitely need to have the to know. I don't think so. Not not, not everything I, only because I was one of those kids that I don't feel comfortable talking to my parents. So I would talk to friends I had at school or I would talk to a teacher. Well, well, I mean, if, yeah. yeah, but, what but I'm if, saying if, is, if I'm gonna tell my okay. teacher something and then it's like, oh, now I have to tell your parents, bitch, I'm not gonna tell, tell your goddamn thing. thing. Okay, and I, I that's where the issue. I, I get that. Yeah. But what about the whole the mental thing? Only what if, if your child has experienced a mental breakdown. Only, well? yeah, that's um, that would be the only thing that would be for me if the if the child seems as if they could cause harm to themselves or somebody else. Right. And then yeah, of course. Tell the parent, you should tell law enforcement tell too. Everybody. Like, <laughs> don't tell but everybody. if a child just comes up to you be like, um, I'm having these weird feelings. 
I think I could be this way. Mm -hmm. There's nothing for you to divulge with other parents. Okay. I, I get that part because I feel like that's, and I always say this is like a very small part of your life anyway. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and I don't never, I ain't never understood the whole coming out uh, thing. And I, I, yeah. I, you know, I don't know we don't understand it, but yeah. we, we rolled it with the punches. Yeah. But yeah, I think that because the parents are, and I'm not going to say that the parents don't have, are not instrumental to children, they are, but I do know that parents do. Do not always spend as much time with their kids as the educators right. do. But see, but this is why teachers and the school system becomes a safe haven is because there are plenty of kids who don't feel safe in their own home. Right, right. So that's why. And once you take that away, then the child really ain't going to say nothing to anybody because he ain't got nowhere else to go. Yeah, and you got some of those parents who out there who who may not say it to their kids. Like, if you gay, I'm going to fuck you up. But they know it. Right. Because they don't hurt. Well, child, my dad said that to me. Right, and it's some daddies and some moms who will say that, but you got those parents who who will never say that, but then their kids know because of what they said out loud or said to somebody else or about somebody yes. else. So they're like, I ain't about to tell her because right. she, uh, uh, she ain't going to get me in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you can throw me out this house. Yeah, so I get it. I mean, kids do need a safe space, and if, if, if uh, schools are going to be that safe space, don't take that away from them. Yeah. They definitely need to have the outlet. Because kids are just, you know, they overlooked um, almost everything. Right. Because people, th people think, because this is, this is the part that gets me. So in the bill, it only t really talks about K through the third grade. Mm -hmm. When I was in kindergarten or first grade, I knew something was different about me. Right. But you don't have anybody to talk to or, you know, you feel embarrassed or you get bullied by. Right. So you really don't talk to anybody. Mm -hmm. So that's why people. Why I hate when people say, like little kids, they don't know any better, or this is too sensitive for them, this is too much of an adult conversation for them to have. You need to have those conversations because you'll end up with kids like me who are now like emotionally fucked up. Right. You and it's because, yeah. <coughs> you have an what was you going to say? No, no, no. You had your hand raised up like we in school. I, just <laughs> <laughs> I was asking, like, why did you feel like that? Why'd I feel like what? Hey, kindergarten, why'd you feel that way? First grade. Well, yeah, it was just, just something I would just be thinking about and be like, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. Okay. <laughs> no COVID over here. You better not be, I swear to God. <laughs> no. I'll come no, after you. I'm smoking a cigarette. Oh, okay. But no, like in kindergarten and first grade, I, it would just be something I was thinking. Because I was like, I'm not like other boys. Mm. <coughs> why? He just, uh, he just had because, a feeling. Because, you, just, you know, you grow up with... Uh, an idea with propaganda, <coughs> and you are indoctrinated. This is what boys do. This is what girls do. Right. I never wanted to do what the boys do. Right. And then I didn't even want to hang around with other boys because mm -hmm. I know I wasn't like them. Mm -hmm. So I just hang around with just girls and women because you feel more comfortable yeah. there. Right. Right. So, okay. so do you think that? Do you think even st even with that that you felt no, different and you knew in the bathroom? bathroom. Oh no, I'm sorry. It's some in this closet. In the closet, babe. Right here. So, even with let, let's just take the whole sexuality out of it. Should children be talking about sex anyway? <coughs> even if they are. Not are we talking yet. about the K through third, or we just talking about kids in general? Kids in general. Anybody on that? Well, I'm gonna say anybody. K, K through third, because when you get 16, 17, you start trying to do a little. Stuff. I was like, girl, I was like 12, 13, 14 when I was doing stuff. So how early should that conversation happen? It needs to, it need to be ha It needs to happen pretty early before middle school, I think. Definitely before middle school, but I just don't see a see, place for a third grader to be talking yeah, about sex. Yeah, and but that's the thing. Well, you know that's what? what let, people, me, let me retract. Let that's, me retract. That's what people are saying. They saying like, okay, there. People are thinking that this is about sex. And it's not about new sex. episode. It's about identity yeah, and how you feel about certain things. Right. And so, no one, no one, no teacher, no adult mm -hmm. is talking about even when it comes to the straight sex. Ain't nobody it's really talk, yeah, yeah, talking about it right. with kids in K through third grade. So, oh, like, so what the fuck is y'all talking about? But I do think that needs to have a conversation needs to be had with kids K through third to. At least let the child know however you feel it's okay to feel that way unless you see like some predatory type shit right. happening right. 
So do you think that um uh sexuality is just um is it identity yeah. or is it just sex? It's an identity kind of thing. Just like how Okay, yeah, because yes, because your identity is who you are, right? Yeah. And, and yo know, yo okay. And I, especially I when uh, like when you like someone someone who was like me, like you know, you will watch every movie you watch was about Shoot. male and female right, right, right. being together. Yeah. And it's like how come we can't have that for a same sex couple? Right. When right, you right. see two people of the same sex being together. Right. And it, it is so early in a child's life where they are indoctrinated on this is what boys do, this is what girls do. Mm-hmm. Why don't you change that up and be like, it's okay, it's okay for a little boy to play with a dog. Mm-hmm. It's okay for a girl to play with an action figure. Right. It's okay for a boy to have a kitchen set. Right. It's okay for a little girl to have a toolbox. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like stop with the gender, the gender with the roles. yeah, with the gender roles. Mm-hmm. New episode. <laughs> <laughs> right, but he brought up Texas, so let's talk about this. This mm-hmm. is I, I haven't read this article, and I haven't done that much research into it. But this is one thing that has been happening in Texas. So there's a Texas bill that could send parents to prison for providing gender affirming care. I don't carry ice. I'm sorry. <laughs> what you need Nobody ice for? Nobody has ice. What you need ice for? Because, let me tell y'all. Okay. We are on live. We're not live. But yeah, we are live. Oh, we are? Yeah. Are we funky like it's like that? Yeah. Well, what oh, you ice for, though? DJ right. Shan Rothstein wants ice for this cruising rum. No. Oh, no. No rum, baby. No rum. They said no. no oh, rum. no rum for him. No, babe. No. no rum. I want a shot of rum. Who's driving? Me, but... And listen, this is a... Don't be hanging out the window. PSA now, swear. Just don't throw up on my floor. That's I will not do that. <laughs> this new episode. I think this is dope. Do y'all think it is? We know it is. No, That's why no. we've been doing it for two, three years. I mean, yeah. I mean, come on, yeah. stop. Yeah. You added another, you added another somebody else. How you just gonna get? Did he say add? You added. added. Oh, added. Oh, added somebody else. Sham. I'm being quiet. No, you're not. You pouring that rum like you, like you talking loud. Yeah, I'm a character in the show. Look, yeah. yeah, you know, All you're you know, gonna you know, say is, uh, "Where's Sham's coming back?" <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't want no more. I don't want no more. You got something to mix with? I don't mix it. You didn't even say, I've been sitting this whole time drinking straight. Why would you think I got something to mix it with? Yo, we over here live talking about some real stuff, y'all. Listen, this is what? So what done happened in the struggle? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What done happened in the great state of Texas? Okay, so this is so... Back to the story. This is right. So a wave of anti-transgender bills across the country will ban healthcare providers from uh, affirming gender affirming care to minors. Now, for those who don't know what gender affirming care is, that's when uh, that's when someone starts the process of being transgender. Okay. The hormone shots, you know, fixing their bodies. To where they more feminine, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, it's uh, but a smaller number are targeting parents who support their transgender kids' desire to transition, levying punishments that critics say could range from jail time (laughs) to having their children taken away. Oh wow! Now this was really interesting. That's crazy. When I found out about because I watched Euphoria. Right. Did you watch? Have you watched it? Uh, no. But I know people who do watch it, like my yes. children. I was kind of weird. Read right. it out. Yeah. Because these are like high school Talk kids. So I was like, I heard about the number of penises that have been thrown around. Like, Girl. Whoa. Dicks everywhere. That's what my daughter said. People Dick was like, galore. she was like, why she didn't warn me about all the, the you know, penises? Ooh, I've got to tell you about this. So when I started watching it, well, before I was watching it, I saw that it was on my the no, continue watching. Uh huh. So I was like, oh, because I know you got yeah. my HBO Max. Yeah. So I was like, hmm. I was like, I hope her kids ain't watch it. Oh, even in it. Cause it, ah! them, two, them two girls, and he ain't probably watched it. But them two old Yeah, kids, okay. Well, they old enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was just like, oh, 
I was like, oh, but kids ain't watching this because this is just a little too much. It was too much for me. That's what my daughter, that's what my 20 year old, 23 year old said. She was like, my little sister shouldn't have been watching this. You know, yeah. 19. There's too many things going on. She the one that said it was penises everywhere. Yeah. I was like, well, let me see. Like the clip. first two, three, but well, the first one, it was the first one. Just like, yeah, this is just. I didn't get was it was 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 Zendaya involved in, in the No, she doesn't have like really she doesn't have any like new scenes. Okay. It's mostly uh, the side. You know, she's the star, so right, they're not right, gonna right, look right, like right. that. Right, she ain't got nothing to show no way. A little too much, right? I can't stand you. Anyway, so you know that girl like a boy by the chest. Now come on. Yes. Now. She ain't had no, nobody but, uh, just long nipples. But I seen <laughs> Shot Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm serious. I'm serious now. He's a, I like Zendaya though. I do too. She but yeah, but yeah, she don't. Yeah, she gets you. Yes. She doesn't have those. <laughs> so uh You scared to say titties? There's a titties. Girl, I'm trying to move on. Go ahead. <laughs> it used to be you, but go ahead. So on Euphoria, there's a transgender female mm-hmm. on there. Um I forgot her fucking name. Jules. Mm-hmm. Jules is on there. And you know, Jules is in high school and her trans uh her bitch transition? I say, yeah, I was about to say transforming. Her <laughs> transition. <laughs> her transition is her is like her whole character. Mm-hmm. So what happened was she was she was a little boy, she was born a little boy, and she's transgender in real life. Most of the time they do be. Yeah. yeah. So she was a boy when she was younger and then she was showing the attributes that I want to be a female mm-hmm. or I want to be a woman or whatever, a girl, what the fuck ever. Mm-hmm. And then the mom locked her, locked her, you know, locked her up in a crazy house because of that. Because of that. And her father divorced the mom and then got her out of the crazy home and then helped her transition. So now she's in high school with titties and shit, and she goes by Jules. Yeah. And these are if, these are nineties babies, right? No, bitch. This wait, huh? The, it's set in these. Kids. No, this is set. I don't know. They don't. They, give, they, they don't do a time. But I'm saying mm. from the characters and stuff because from the it's very confusing. Like some people have like old cars and they got like, like it's it's you'll see some of the technology like okay I can see this happening today, but it's just it's just some oh, shit. Cool. It just don't make sense to me because but there's no there's no time period of euphoria. Like it doesn't say this year this happened. Mm. So it doesn't say nineties, okay? No, because which all make no sense because I know that the the modern day parents like myself we're even more progressive than our parents were. Yeah, so mm. that's why I'm like, well then yeah, that's that 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 early forties, yeah. early forties. That's where it makes sense where they how to get mm. locked up. Not early forties, but he's doing too much. Oh hell! I thought he was talking about the year. I'm not like, talking about the age. Like this, my generate, my generation is more progressive than. My mother. Yeah. Oh, okay. That would have made sense. Yeah, back but yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Right, come on. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm when did this happen? I'm on the in show. the two thousands, they locking people up in the house. I mean, in the crazy Quiet. house. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. I, I've never seen like a year posted anywhere. It's oh, just okay. mm. this is what's happening. Mm-hmm. But yeah, if you ask me somewhere in the near future, because I was just like, because the way that these high schools are partying, I'm just like, I ain't never. They rocking. Let me ask you a kids. question though. I work in the schools. <laughs> yeah. I asked the kids, do y'all party? They don't. But this is a TV show, though. Oh, it was it was, uh, it's, it's for it's for it's for uh it's for you know how they overdo it for TV. You think so? Yes, because these kids, my daughter does not party okay. like that. They don't party. Not like these. Not like we used to. No, and when I was, uh, we was party. Yeah. You I generated no, no. He wasn't here yet. Wasn't. No, not in high school. I wasn't. Well, he a part of a different generation. I had to start. Part, yeah. I'm the, you're behind that Yo, your generation is behind mine. Yeah, yeah but that's yeah. that far to where. But you weren't doing yeah. what we was doing, though. We, we was coming up in the 90s. Hotel yeah. parties, no. Yeah, y'all, you came up with, you know, later on yeah. down the line. I just wasn't one of those kids. Keep it funky, But what about your, uh, your. Oh, friends? college. Oh, I was fucking everything. Up. Oh, shit. Cha ching! That nigga said That's a place of time. She in college. You right? I was going to a community college. I was it don't matter. It don't matter. Jeez. It was cheese. But no, like in high school, and then you see how they how they're dressed on the show. It's like, how the fuck are they getting away with this? Right. So yeah, they do overdo it. I'm sorry. Right. Right. Oh, yeah, no, on, you good. Going, but um, but because Jules is on there, and so I'm. I was sitting there thinking, like, if if 
Jules and her father lived in Texas like this could possibly happen to him. Right. Where if you are looking for it, I or uh, I guess you're like I don't I don't get how I don't get how this bill will work. I if know. a parent is giving their child gender affirming care, like who, who who's reporting him right. or who's reporting the parent? Right, right. right. I, I'm not getting how this like just like the whole like abortion shit. Like who, bitch? Who knows what the fuck is you doing? Right. Like, because I'm like, this is a little thing, this is a little new thing that's been going around called HIPAA law. Like, so that's just like, yeah. That's that's why it didn't make sense to me because they was like, oh, you can go to jail if you have an abortion. Who the fuck telling them that you have an abortion? Right. Because that's supposed to be a private, you know, non-disclosed thing. Like when you go, because I even I even thought that when you have an abortion, you don't even have to give your real name. Yes, you can just go in there and be like, snatch it out. You don't got to tell them who you is or where no. you come from or none of that. I know that you do have to uh, be a certain age, yeah. so that may be how they find out who you are. But you don't got to get them no real information about you. No. So how are we gonna send somebody to jail for life for doing that? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. It's it's really confusing. Texas be having some dumb like they right there with Florida, but Texas right. be on some dumb shit for real, especially when it comes to these laws and. What you can and cannot do. First of all, you ain't gonna be able to tell me what I can do with my body. This is mine. Right. This is my stuff. I'm gonna do what right. I want to do with it. Is that a bill heard in committee in Texas and on Monday will redefine child abuse to include administering, supplying, or consenting to provide puberty suppression drugs, hormone replacement therapy, or surgical or medical procedures to anyone under 18 for the purpose of gender transitioning or tr gender reinsignment will act as a felony. That's a lot. Parents who violate could see up to 10 years in prison and have their child put in foster care. Mm -hmm. So basically they say- And be parents, open to civil litigation. Uh, that don't even make any fucking sense. So who's suing? Who's who's suing? Who's, who's suing? Who? Girl, I don't the, know. The civil, the civil part. Who is exactly? Be, who would be the one that's the the, the, the plaintiff, right? I don't know. Now, like, okay, okay, because they, they what's the name of that law? I'm not the reason. No. Uh, no. Da, da, da. No. I just put, I, no. I had when I was looking up. I was looking up Texas no. gender affirming care. I'm gonna have to read what I do. Now, okay, now this one, this one thing is kind of, kind of, the jury's still out on it. Let me say this. So, uh, da, 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 da. It, it's, it's with the kids. Now, this is the part that kind of gets me. So, K, I want to say this how you pronounce the name. K Shapley, a 10 year old transgender girl from Austin, speaks, speaks before tennis Senate on state, uh, you know about the bill and shit. Now this is the this is the part that kinda I'm just like okay maybe that's a little bit too far. Mm -hmm. Is when you're dealing with two, like little kids, like ten year old kids. Yeah. That's the part I'm just like, uh, can we wait a while for a minute? Can right. you know? Can let them get yeah. Older. Let's actually let them start going oh. through puberty. Right. And now I ain't gonna say I get it. But I kind of understand where you want to start the process before the kid reaches puberty, before they get to that awkward stage. Right. Yeah. Okay. Because it's gonna be extremely awkward. If right. You want this shit. Right. You gonna be like, damn, I, don't, I got and especially everything. Go sit down. Right. He is a mess, <laughs> especially when you dealing with like you know the whole thing with transgender people in sports or trans women in sports. Mm -hmm. The whole, you know, most likely a good deal of those are teenagers who were going through puberty or have went through puberty, right? And then they transition, and now you know now they participate in women's sports. So you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's above our pay rate right, right that's now. That's a lot of stuff, right? To be to, to un to unpack. But I don't, I don't, I, I wouldn't now. Me personally, I wouldn't let a ten year old transition. <laughs> I wouldn't either. I would definitely want you to wait until you get done. Um, I'm not gonna say get done because puberty can last until your twenties, but until you at least go through puberty. Yeah. Like it's, especially the beginning stages. I would want you to be there to have that experience, go through that, and then 
see if there's something different because sometimes stop doing stuff do good. sometimes i feel like you need a little bit more experience to kind of know exactly what yeah you know, what you want. Yeah. yeah not yeah the experience and i want you i want you to sleep on it right i want you to sleep on it for a minute make sure this is something that you want to do because there are some people who detransition yeah. there are some people who like you know, this ain't what I thought it was, and they go back. It's a small number, right. but it does happen. Right. And I would like if I had a child, I wouldn't want to help them transition as a ten year old, and then by the time they hit like twenty twenty five, it's like no, I want to go back. And, and just and just uh, on this too, even if we take a take away all of that, kids don't be knowing the fuck they want. <laughs> One day they want a Xbox three sixty. The next day they want a PS four. One day a girl want her nails done. One day she want to wear a wig. The next day she want braids. Like kids don't know what they want. <laughs> right. So you you giving this ten year old a permanent, uh, you know, which not, is not, not permanent. It's not, not permanent, necessarily but permanent, but it is life changing. It's very life changing, especially. Well, I don't think they can have a gender reassignment when they're they're young. But if you take away a body part that you can't, they have. have. They have. See, this no, is the part that gets me. Old, this is no. the part that gets. But this is before trans was like very popular mm -hmm. so i was listening one of the things when back in the day when i used to drive for uber i used to fucking love listening to npr news mm -hmm. so i remember yeah, listening I to npr, NPR. News is dope. yeah so i remember listening it's to still NPR. rocks doesn't it oh, uh -huh. npr still rocks doesn't i'm pretty it? sure they still do shout out I npr just, news I ain't listen to it a minute, shout right? out npr news right <laughs> shout out to npr news <laughs> so i remember they were talking about something that would happen in the 50s and mm -hmm. 60s they sometimes if the baby was born with like deformed genitalia or like two or two yeah mm -hmm. or um there was a case where i heard where they tried to circumcise it and they accidentally cut off too much mm -hmm. and then they changed the the, the boy baby. into a girl, girl. Oh, wow. and yeah so they they've done an over it was this one case the shit was so shocking i felt so sorry for her mm -hmm. so it was a, a little boy, and I want to say it was the circumcision kind of thing that happened or whatever. But anyway, he was born a boy, and then they did a gender reassignment. Oh, they did a gender reassignment on him when he was still like he was like a baby, like an infant. Mm -hmm. And then he grew up as a girl, mm -hmm. and he, uh, she ended up coming out as a lesbian because she felt like she was born in the wrong body, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. She didn't know until she was like in her, I want to say like 40s or 50s. Mm -hmm. She didn't realize that she was born a male. Because mm -hmm. no, no one had told her anything. But she was, and she was like, I was wondering why I couldn't have babies. Right. She and she was like, cycle. yeah, she thought something was wrong with her. And then yeah. that's when she found, she was like, bitch, yeah. you telling me? Right. Like wow, she, I she, wasn't born in the wrong body. She, she had life. to go through this whole process of getting her documents unsealed, oh, wow. her medical uh, record unsealed, and found out that she was born a boy, and then they did a gender reassignment. Like it was, that was just so fucked up. I can't Damn. Do that. So that's why when people are talking about this shit here about a ten, about parents helping their child transition as a ten year old, I'm sitting there thinking they kind of been doing this, right? But it was just like a. A hush, hush, a hush. medical emergency hush yeah, hush type right. shit. Nobody yeah. was like willingly do it. And I remember they were talking about like some parents were talking uh -huh. about how they bought boy stuff mm -hmm. and they were supposed to have a boy and then they reassigned mm -hmm. it to a girl and they the doctor would give them extra money so that they can possibly move to a different town where people didn't know them and then have to sell all their stuff and then go and buy girl stuff. Crazy. What kind of Girl, backwoods, <laughs> hillbilly, duck. It's too much. I can't take it. And so that's why I'm just like, you know, just learning that. That's why I don't see what's the, what's the uproar, a uh, uproar about kids transitioning, and you know, kids transitioning. Like I don't get it because when they were they, doing it they back were, in the day. They were doing it, but yeah, um, and it probably was not at, at a rate that it's trying to be at right now. Yeah. But I would say this. Like you said before, I would never let one of my children transition before 15 or 16. I would rather have my child that was a drag king or a drag queen. Wow. Yeah. Be transitioning, no. Nah. Because transitioning, it, 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 it is, it is, uh, it is a, like a, it is, it's a life changing kind of thing. Really? So I'd rather you 
Like girl, practice. Yeah. Just like just like a car. You test drive it before right. you actually buy it. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> you do a dress rehearsal uh, before you go out right. and do the yeah. whole thing. Like, like, you know you, you, you you right. Check yourself out in the mirror before. Because right. I've seen some of your brain, you know what I'm saying? But like how you're your titties look bigger. Right. But I've seen I've seen some ugly, ugly um drag queens or like ugly men trying to be women. Mm-hmm. I've seen some not so attractive women trying to be men. So it's like, yeah, I wish you to try this out before you came right, out. Right, because it ain't you. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> it's it ain't not you. It ain't stand well. Right. 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 It's like trying to right. trying to decorate a cake that didn't settle right. Right. Well, the first cake that didn't rise. Right. The first cake that didn't rise. 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 The first cake Oh, yeah, it's time to wrap up. Yeah, but I'm glad we did, we did a good two-hour show. Hey, you had yeah. a guest speaker here. Can you, can right. you introduce me? Yeah, we had a guest speaker. We had a guest. I'm sorry, what's his name again? Sham. You want to have a guest speaker? Our Shazam. Well, <laughs> we, we might add me to the show. You know, right. you know. We'll see. Because yeah, I, I really, I mean, I hope you all enjoyed my funniness. I'm a belly. I'm a belly. You was every Well, shut up. I'm going to see that I'm a belly. I'm a belly. Child Shane, right? He's also a guest speaker. Can I have him? Huh? Can I have him? No, you cannot have Sam. Even if your mom was gonna let you, no, no. I know y'all like this shit. Leave Sam alone. He happy where he is. Not really. He, he gotta grow into you. me. He gotta grow into you. Yeah, I found out what he is. What is he? I forgot. Yeah, we crossed the world on this, y'all. That's this is your daughter. We crossed the world, uh, and we call no. this what? Um, the struggle show. People. Struggle. Take a struggle. struggle. Why are you hollering? Ah, that should be an edit. How much Pick do you want? No, show. this is live. Ain't no edit. Right, this is going to go out exactly the way it came in. Right, when we get to a point where we can do it, we can do it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't don't you put them on the table. I'm going to fill the dollar. Yeah. Yeah. Don't put them on the table. Put them down. Right. Just enjoy your time with him because we right. can Right, because it's about to be over. We fix to get up out of here. Holla at you. you. Adios. Right. Have you been there, Chase? Like, like David Allen Grant said to Halle Berry and Boomerang. Remember David Allen Grant and Boomerang? No. No. Y'all remember that scene? when? Halle Berry was like, I'm going to get you some Boomerang. Yeah. And then she started crying. Yeah. 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 And she said, Ariba Dirty, and they were saying it out in different language. Yeah, then language. she hit him with some Chinese, and he was she like, said, oh, yeah, 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 I remember. Adios. Bye. Bye, sister. Bray. Oh, my okay. God. He reminds me of me. I think that's why I'm so annoyed. <laughs> 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 was so Bray, I was the same way. I was like, ugh. <laughs> All right, John. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go and get up out of here. It's Thank y'all for tuning in. This is going to turn up again. Right, we'll see. Another time. <laughs> yes. All right. It won't last. Look. Because I already did my 10,000 steps today. Told you, told you, told you so. Screw you, Sam. I'm going home. And although my mind tells me that she's